Hello, hello everybody. We are continuing our Fire Emblem Awakening adventures. It's been like a week since I last played because depression, probably. Haven't been diagnosed, but I can only assume that's what it is. But either way, last time uh, we began our adventure through primarily just trying to grab various, like, paralog future children. It's gonna buy your, like, at least that killer bow. Because it's a killer bow! So I think we can get silver stuff elsewhere, so we don't really need to buy them here. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and kill this Risen up here, because they exist, and we can kill them, and that's a thing to do. But let's take a look at the barracks. There's a stick in the middle of the floor. And new armor. Neat. Let's see. Cherche, and it, my brain is... And Owain. Oh, where have you been? I haven't seen you in a while. Me? I secretly battle with evil. The forces of darkness fall upon me at every moment. I think you're crazy. Why do we have just a branch in here? I need other hobbies besides dancing. How do you pass the time? Oh, I'm always running errands to town. My Pegasus is suited for that sort of thing. And like, okay, Wayne. What is this? Have I found the legendary item of, uh, legend? Again, how does a glass bow even work? How is it super powerful? Oh, sugar has really got my brain spinning again. And I got energy to spare. And now I'm suddenly worrying that maybe my microphone audio will fuck up. Nah. Fear. We have so little free time these days. How do you spend it? I study self-defense. A little paracel foo works wonders on thugs and brigands. Didn't I make you a class that can actually fight? Now I just need to make sure. We, st <laughs> we still need to level up Krom Spears. Let's see. Does everyone have good stuff? We need to work on your spearmanship. In fact, let's gonna go here and... Uh, no, not store. I want to grab it and equip it. G -g Equip. And we need to buy more bronze lances. We're gonna take that elixir. Uh, and I guess... We'll give you a bow. And we need some bronze bows as well. Donald doesn't really need anything. We'll take that elixir. Why do so many people have elixirs? And let's see, you don't need that arc fire. You're not a tactician, but we could give you a spear. No, we can't. We need more broad spears. Uh huh. Uh, we'll let you keep that. Still need to level up your stupidy stuff. We'll take that. We'll take that. Well, let's give you a bronze axe. Once again, we also need to get. We need to just buy a bunch of bronze and everything, I guess, just in case. We need bronze everything. So I guess before we go further, uh, let's see. I'm sure that there was like a place that sold bronze everything somewhere. Somewhere out here. I do, I do kind of enjoy that like, everything around everywhere has, like, shops every single place. I don't know why. It amuses me. All right, there. Now, let's see. We got some bronze spears now. You can take it. Let's see. You're good. Although, maybe we could give you, like, a better sword. Because I think we can buy killer swords now. Actually, just, a. Uh, Steel sword at all would be good for you. So let's see. What things, what things? And blessed lances, beast killers. Hmm. 
And I think that's pretty much all. We'll take that store. Okay, let's go back to our diddly D. You need a bronze bow so you can level up stuff. Uh, I guess we'll give you a... Because you can use steel, so... We'll give you a steel that you can continue to wield. You need a sword? You can use steel. So we'll go ahead and give you that. Let's see. Can't use silver, though. Or brave. We have a lot of killing edges, though. When did I get an extra loving sword? Mistletane. Let's see. You're doing good. We will store. I have so many characters that I need to use. We should probably bring Brady along so we can try and level him up. Guess I'll give you... Let's see. I'll give you an L-Fire so you can actually use stuff. I have so many characters now that I have to do stuff with. I think that is one downside to the uh, introducing these characters this way in. Because uh, now I'm stuck with all these new characters. But either way, we are going to fight this Risen. So they, because they exist, we might as well kill them. The Great Gate. Oh no, not this map. They're just lined up here. I guess I am the enemies here. What the fuck are you? So that's what a general looks like. Grex Scalibur. Alright. Let's see. At this point, I just need to pair characters together, but I need to decide who I want to bring in. Maybe Vike? Let's see. Anigo recently, so maybe put you away. Maybe bring Brady in. Let's see. Ba ba ba. I guess we'll keep Cordelia because then we can do stuff with her. Bring Pan in because we want to level her up. Hmm. I guess we can take out these two to get like. Nowi and... Let's see, who else? Who else do we want to level up some? So many people that we want to level up. Let's see. We're bringing Virion, Gregor. So many characters that we can bring in. Could try and level up Olivia, because I don't know... If, yeah, I guess we should probably... All right been a bit I completely forget like who goes with who hmm. Let's see Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. I guess we'll pair Brady up with Lucina just because He's one of, like, the few people she can actually, like, converse with. Just trying to decide. I suppose this will do. It's just a fight against Risen. No need to go crazy. Still love the music. Hmm. Just pair characters randomly. Sure, why not? We 
are all in danger. Let's see, are you a threat at all? Not really, none of you are threats. Basically, we just need to wipe out the back line before everyone goes crazy. And again, who are these guys? They're Valkyries with magic. So what I'll do is I'll place her there. Love the music that plays. We'll guard things a bit. And sure. Come on and fight. Oh, that's a lot of damage. Well, Brady, you're gonna get some healing done. I forgot to equip her bow. Damn it. I am a fool. Finally, one of them missed their highly damaging but missing attacks. Good job, Brady. Now, let's see. Go ahead and blast you just because we can. I'm not afraid of you. And you'll only do two damage to this dragon. Get blasted. And we will hopefully annihilate this man. Die. I suppose you tried. How do you fare? Terribly. So how about you? How would you fare? You would kill him. Damn it, we want to leave him slightly alive. Hmm, actually. You would still kill him with a bronze bow? Why? <laughs> how, how strong are you, Vike? It's a bronze ball! Okay, how about you? Everybody kills this motherfucker! Everybody kills this motherfucker except... Well, I guess I could send hilariously everybody except the person I paired her with. <laughs> hmm. Well, idea either way. Doesn't say that he gets a crit, so... Hmm. Well, either way... Vike, I guess you can shoot him with a bow. Because why not? <laughs> Annihilate this twink! Vike using the weakest weapon in the armory. I'm gonna annihilate somebody with this. Everybody. Poor, poor you. Poor you. Why? Oh, because he has fly, fly magic stuff. So we're gonna go ahead and we'll annihilate this guy, I guess. Let's see. Make sure to use a lance, so you can learn. Great Aether! Get stabbed. Get stabbed lots of good. I just picked the worst two characters to pair together, huh? I just picked the literal worst characters. 
to pair together. Wouldn't even... Fine, I'm gonna use a javelin because you don't like my magic. Javelin. I keep forgetting that you can do that. We're gonna move you back. Yeah, we're gonna move you back. And... Yeah. Sure, sure, you can all charge in. Since we have a... Wall. Hmm. Well, let's blast him anyway, because we can. Blast away indeed. Nice helmet, dipshit. It's not going to save you. I'm still so sad that she doesn't like super level up and or like keep her stuff. We'll just keep shooting people with bows because we can. Get stabbed. I know, that's what I think of he all your abilities, Vike. You're too muscled, you're too strong. Gotta go ahead and heal, because we can. Level you up. I know you, are dead. you probably don't. He's doing his job. So yeah, come on in. Single file, single file line indeed. Are they all gonna focus on Pan? Because that would be almost hilarious. They would all get annihilated. Unless they get lucky hits it. Which would suck. No, not the Balagna. That actually fucking hit. Luckily he's a tank, so he can survive. If you hit this, then I'm calling shenanigans. Good. To be fair, I then got the 22% to his... Like, I got a 22 crit to his 23 hit, which is kind of hilarious. All of my bow... I wanted this to level up Olivia. Everyone else said, Okay, never mind. I don't think I can complain for the rest of this encounter. I cannot complain. <laughs> For the rest of this encounter. All because of you. I cannot complain. I got two crits in a row. Anyone else? Yeah, I just I can't complain. like against the law now. I'm gonna go ahead and heal you because you are suffering. Guess I'll blast you from here because I can. Of course you can. Still love that he keeps the fucking hat. It's not what I wanted. Damn it. I went to switch and the game said fuck me. By then, we shall stab you with a lance. He almost fucking died from that too. We'll move out of the way so now he can get the kill. Cause why not? It survived with one HP. Amazing. Well, you know I'm out of it. <laughs> I can't even press buttons correctly. My lord. 
We all huddled into one corridor and everyone died. All right, let's see. Paralogue 13, 12. Paralogue 10, that is the lowest so far. Paralogue 11. Very well, very well. Paralogue 13. I don't think we have other paralogues that are below 10, though, anymore. But we shall see just so we can. That's 15 or 16. Confirmed that one was 50. All right, then. So 15, not 15, brain. Did we check out this one just to make sure 13? All right, paralogue 10. We shall do you. After we look at supports and uh, save. <sighs> hey there, Pan. What you doing way out here? And be careful now. I got traps set up all around these parts. Uh, looks like you already found that out. What was your first clue? Oh, gosh. I'm so sorry. I'll have you out of there in two shakes. There, all free. Aw, oh, pig slop. Your ankle's all swollen up. God, I feel just awful. Need any help? Stop. My wound is inconsequential. I care more about this trap. After the last time, I was extremely careful. Yet here I am, snared like a common beast. Why am I the only one to fall for this? I cannot accept this. Hmm. Well, every animal's got its own unique way of going about its business. Some of its instinct, some's reflex. So if you use that knowledge to design a trap... Right. This is the result. Here. Yep, take this one here. As it does in other traps you passed before it. But you noticed all of them, right? Well, you're supposed to. They're decoys. I set them boys up to guide the animal into this here real trap. Hmm. So I was led here by instinct. That is your claim? Yeah. Yep, something like that. <sighs> I never thought to find an apex predator among the humans of the camp. Hilarious that Donald would be the apex predator. You've left my pride in tatters, man spawn. <gasps> Gosh, I'm real sorry about that. Your apology no serves no purpose. Only a duel can restore my honor. Set another trap, human. This time I will see through it. Huh? Are you sure about that? I don't know if I... <laughs> if you decline, I will challenge you to hand-to-hand -hand combat. And if I sense you have not set the trap with all your skill, I will challenge you again. If you wish to go unscathed, you had best set your trap very carefully indeed. Uh... I want to go home. <laughs> Poor man. Really? You weren't your usual self in the last fight, Sully. If something is troubling you, I'm happy to hear it. Yeah. I can't figure out how the hell you beat me when we sparred. That's what's wrong. Right. Good heavens, that was days ago. Is there really any need to compete? We fight for the same cause. Mm. Yeah, I know, but it... I don't know. It was as if I knew you were going to beat me. I've never had that feeling with anyone else. Never. I see. When you first joined the Shepherds, I was the one who taught you. Perhaps that has something to do with it. Ha! I remember. I came in thinking I could mop the floor with all of you. And I might have might have until you showed up. You didn't look like much back then, but you beat the crap out of me. No. I wouldn't say I beat the... <clears throat> yes, well, I suppose it was rite of passage of sorts. <sighs> I didn't sleep for days after that. I was just so damn angry. Really? Perhaps this is the cause of your current consternation. When master and student first fight, the student naturally stands no chance. The perception that one's teacher is unbeatable can be difficult to shake. Mm -hmm. So I can't beat you now because you beat the crap out of me when I was 15? No. It doesn't sound quite so honorable when you say it in that manner. <laughs> Hilarious. Oh, well, we shall save. And let's see, Mercenary Fortress. Will we get a hint to who the, I presume, mother is? Paralogue 10, Ambiviolence. Why'd I say it like no. that? This can't go on, Elder. We barely have enough to get by as it is. <laughs> Their leader is a former Valmy's general. We'll be crushed if we resist. What? What's this? What's that about Valm? Hey. Who are you? Hmm. My name is Krom. The ruler of Elise. Elder, <gasps> he may be able to help us. Right. Um, I can hear you. But tell me your problem and I'll see what I can do. Oh, thank you. No hint at all. Well, maybe the hint will come in character. 
Didn't we already kill you? Urgent news, sir. Armed soldiers approach. Their leader claims to be Krom of Elise. What? Damn it! Why would he come here? Well, if they insist on dogging me, I've got hounds of my own to welcome them. What? I am not your dog, scum. <laughs> no, only a stray mother refuses to stop yapping. But you'll be a good dog and do as I say if you ever want. Fine. Yes, yes, if I ever want to see it again, I'm well aware. I trust you're equally aware of your position, Holland. <sighs> Loquacious as ever, I see. You'll fight for me, or I'll have that lazy tongue pried from your head. Now then, Krom may have the fire emblem in his possession. And if I claim that, I've practically claimed the throne. So go out there, kill anything that moves, and get me that emblem. Great, we gotta fight the, another potential recruit again. Alright, let's see if we can find them. Because more than likely, he has a talisman. Interesting. Holland. He actually has a name, but I don't think that he's like a recruitable. I think he's just a poor guy that's got thrown in here against his will. Poor schmuck. It was just funny that they actually gave him a name. And that he's kind of a threat, almost. Hmm. Let's see. We have... Doors and chests. Huh. Severa, mercenary. So she's just out here... And, hmm. I wonder if I have to kill him. He has a silver goddamn lance. Huh. But I wonder. I wonder. Hmm. Because, again, he, like, he's obviously being press ganged into this. So, like, can I talk to him and, like, save him or what? Do I have to kill him? <laughs> do, do I have to kill this poor schmuck? That feels bad. <laughs> but it's just so amusing that they just threw a guy in here. That's kind of funny. I'm just trying to wonder. Okay, so we have multiple chests. A Von chest and then the boss up here. Who's stationary, so... Yeah, so one chest, and then either a roundabout way, or we can bring somebody with a lockpicking, like Gaius. Uh. Hmm. So I assume that I just need to, like, send somebody, but who's your parents? We obviously don't know right now. But it's kind of odd that she's out here and not an enemy. But instead in here is this guy. The ultimate enemy, I guess. Huh, but let's take a look at your skills. You have Arms Thrift, which I think is just mercenary. Indoor Fighter, Patience, and well, we <laughs> we only have one person who got that, and I highly doubt you just come with Gale Force on your own. Okie dokie. Cordelia, I think we found your daughter. I think we found her. Okie doke. Uh, let's select units for this. I, I need to, like, level up Olivia on my own time. Same thing with Brady. Like, I want to do it, but it's just like, that's the kind of thing that takes time to do it. To do it proper, like, at least. I'll go ahead and throw myself back in there, and then I guess we'll also throw Gaius in there. Alright. Let's see. Definitely need to, like, level you up. She can do things. I wonder. 
Because it seems like some characters, like, have no relation to others in terms of support, so... I wonder if Lucina could even garner, like, support with Frederick. Hmm. Let's see. Set them up there. Who should go with Cordelia? Wait! We actually can see! We can actually see! That she has a talk thing. That's interesting. Neat. Sure. Okay. I guess we'll send... Uh, hmm, we'll probably send somebody like... Hmm. We'll send Nowi and Cordelia to grab you. We'll send Gaius and then pair... Well, then again... We'll send Nawi and, hmm, Nawi and Gaius with her. We'll pair Cordelia with Severa. And then that, the, the, these two teams will come up here and uh, hopefully not kill the man. And then everybody else will rampage through here. But that means that we need another, like, unless somebody drops a key. Does somebody drop a key? Does somebody drop a key at all? For this other chest? He has a master key, which I guess opens anything. Yeah. Either a door or a treasure chest. But by that point we get up here, Gaius might be ready to open this anyway. And the boss isn't looking like he'll be moving around a lot, so it doesn't really matter. Let's fight! Looks like this is the castle the villagers told us about. Let's reclaim what's been stolen and return it to the villagers. <sighs> All this grief over something so small. Once I get what I came here for, I'm out of here. Maybe I can convince Holland to come with me. All right. Let's see, who was I going to send? Yeah. Uh, Nawi and Gaius. Let's talk. Oh, gods, it's you. Listen. Have we met? I have so I'm afraid I've quite forgotten. Ridiculous. Well, excuse me for being so forgettable. Right. Look, there's no time for this. If you're a friend, speak now. If not, then stand up Crom's way or I'll have to cut you down. Crom, 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 it's always Crom with you. Huh? I'm sorry? <laughs> you should be. And I don't care about your stupid Crom. So you can just drop it. I only want to talk to Holland. Holland? What? Yes, Holland! That sad sack over there! Watch my back so I can get to him safely, and then I'll help your stupid army. Okay? Oh, and Holland's not here of his own will, so don't you dare hurt him! Oh, so she's still on her own. Alright, uh, Sumia can come help. Alright then! Interesting. Let's prepare you. Prepare you as well. Probably should have paired with that uh, differently. Let's see. Hmm. I guess I could just suck it up and hiddly dee. And you're on your own, boy. Let's see. Blast of a bow. Kill him now. Nice area for this fight. And this is just for a paralogue? And to think they let you turn off this stuff. It just interests me. Like the things that they build for these kinds of games. It's amazing. Good, he missed. Now smite him. Probably smiting him a bit harder than I expected. 
But yeah, apparently Severa and Cordelia have a rocky relationship. I don't know why. Apparently she kept going on about Krom for some reason. That'll be interesting to unpack. I hope none of these guys have, like, actual assassinating skills. Let's see. Who should get this kill? Who should get the kill? We could level up Pan some more. Hmm. Yeah, screw it. Let's level up Pan some more. Be gone, Assassin Man. Thank you. I'll level up for both. Huzzah! And then level up for the man who still hasn't reached level 20 and other people have already. Let's see. Guess I'll put me on so that I can smite back. Yes, blind yourself unto death. <laughs> You'd only do 10 damage. Get blasted, fool. A blastation for your face. Everyone's coming to die. I, I'm just getting Ignis all over the place. What? I'm going to have to check out what is that trigger chance for that? Ah, and then the dudes that just spawn have a chance to just do whatever. Hmm. Then again, it seems like any stair could spawn enemies. So... Hmm. Huh. I'm too far away, I'm a fool. Move the army up this way just because we can. How will this man die? I forgot that I still have Javelin on. And you're gonna get crit. Goodbye. Was that a crit? Yeah, I think it was. My brain is just mush right now. You've picked a terrible... Like, a terrible idea. You are now gonna get smited off the face of the planet. And I got the Master Key! Lol. Would have been extra lol if I had <laughs> sent that to the storage. The f ah, he rallied. I just looked at that and was just like, what the fuck? <laughs> Let's go ahead and blast this guy with a bow. Because we can. This is overkill beyond belief. You literally almost, like, I don't even know. That was a poor man. He is just a poor man. Nobody loves him. Now he's fucking dead. Kill him with a spear. Level up your spearness. We are changing the future, so you're right. I, I figured that that would be like... ba ba da ba I really should have just bring a normal sword. I should bring a normal sword more often. 
and I'm going to blast you. 8% chance? Good job. Goodbye, man. Toodaloo, you're fucking dead. Hmm. I think we'll let Naoi get a kill, because she deserves it. Never mind, it wouldn't kill him. Then maybe we can come here, blast him with fire. Unless you get a crit, things should be fine. And now, now he's in the perfect position to murder that guy. And you're in the perfect position to almost get second sealed. And blast him with some fiery dragon crystals. Huzzah! Although this makes me wonder, because Cordelia was, like, a possibility of for romancing Krom. So would the mother-daughter relationship change if Krom was the father? Makes me wonder. Blast him and stab him. The good old blast and stab. How dare you hit his holiness. Now he'll make holes out of you. Why are you going the long way? At least the long way makes sense for them. Let's see. Eh, you deserve to, the ability of smiting. Kill this man. You haven't gotten a kill in a while, so there you go, Donald. Go ahead and blast you, because we can. I guess I'll leave you there. Hmm. Eh, let's move up just a bit. Well, actually, first, hmm. Hmm. I guess I could send Donald to accompany them down this way and then everybody else would go the other way. Keep forgetting. Hmm. I don't have control over her. Even though I talked to her, which at least makes it interesting. It does make it interesting. We're probably gonna try and snap her, uh, snipe her, aren't you? I'll see if I can blast you. Transform for the power of flowers. Luckily, nobody can get through her shields. Guess I can just stab you. Get stabbed, fool. And I guess just to get you off the back of everybody, we're just going to shoot you. He doesn't even have his bow equipped, amateur. Yeah, I rule. I killed a guy who couldn't even touch me. I rule. See? You monster. Silver axes scare me. They do a lot of damage. 
It's getting to the point where enemies have low hit chance, but great damage, and that terrifies me. Like that. That terrifies me. You are about to die. Everyone is being a dick to you. Why? Leave Sumia alone! You bastard! Okay, at least you wouldn't be able to kill her. But that is just fucking hilarious. Everybody was just ganging up on poor Sumia. She has done nothing wrong. Hmm. I wonder if Holland will attack... Huh, that's something to maybe worry about. Get stabbed with spear. Yeah, that is, that might be something to worry about. Like, what if she is attacked by the man? I'm gonna snipe you from over here, Mike. A snipe off, and I win with a bronze bow. Imagine you have a silver bow. It's fancy as fuck, and you can't even kill the person you're shooting at. Ah, and you get a heal. Huzzah! If only you could aether and crit at the same time. Ultimate heal times. Hmm. Do I have... Okay, we technically do have somebody who can heal. So, <laughs> and it looks like he's going to be willing to fucking attack. Oh, boy. Hmm. I guess I'll come up here just in case reinforcements arrive. Hmm. I guess I don't have to worry about reinforcements that much because these guys will just like come down and attack and then we can hang back some. And besides, these two can be here in case enemies come. Go ahead and end. For the love of God, Holland, don't attack her. And we'll just end again. Excuse Holland! Hmm? Severa! What are you doing here? If he knows you left your post! Um, I'm leaving, Holland, and you're coming with me. No. Severa, I, I can't. You know I can't. I have a wife. If I don't earn Nelson's coin, she'll starve. I know it's blood money, but... Huh? Your wife is pregnant, Holland. You know that, don't you? Hey. Of course I know that! And it's none of your concern! Do you love your child, Holland? Do you love your wife? Of course I do! Then stop making excuses! I know that parents will do anything for their children, but I also know what it f how it feels when a child loses her parents. This world's got far too many kids who've gone through that. And if you stay, you'll be killed or worse, and your child deserves better! I Severa, I I'm sorry, I didn't know. It must have been hard for you. You're right. My child deserves better. Let's get out of here. Huh? Really? Thank yes, really. But we have to hurry. Well, actually, we'll stay, ball stay away. We'll send him this way. And I feel sorry because now they're all on their own. Maybe they'll be safe over here. Then again, I could just put Vike on. But nah. I guess you can come up here and grab that. And Holland is just gone. I snuck in some practice, but now I'm all sweaty. I hate practice. Anything. 
Get annihilated, fool. And a level up for Kram. Huzzah. Please, everyone, miss. Of all the ones that would have hit, that one wouldn't have been that bad. Good job, Lucina. You're Dodge Queen of the World. And I'll just blast you, because I can. Get blasted. I still need to look at Ignis's like, activation chance. Jesus Christ. That guy got annihilated. Here comes the boy! He really didn't. He would have killed him either way. I guess first things first, we'll open this door. And let some motherfuckers go kill. Let's stab you. Let's stab you. I keep forgetting that you can do that, but luckily she can do that too. I'll stab you with a bronze lance because I can. And a level up for Lucina. Huzzah! I'll just move you there, because we can. Hmm. I'll send these... Send, uh... Some back just a little bit. On the offhand chance, more spawn out of nowhere. I'll come up here, grab chest. Lemon sword. You bastard. And he doesn't have his bow equipped, so you get to live. You bastard, you bastard bitch. Especially I want Severa to kill you. Which I guess just means, let's see like to separate. She can pair up with her mother. So why not? Guess since nobody else is spawning, we'll get the this team up here to begin uh, positioning themselves so that the boss can be annihilated by Severa in just a moment. Stab this man with a stabby stab. Technically, we should get a double bonus for movement. Because they both have gale force. <laughs> oh, that would be ridiculously broken and hilarious. Just give everybody gale force. Everybody is moving across the map like... Fucking monsters. Well, actually, you got smited a bit, which is the perfect time to heal you. To level up her healing ability just slightly. And actually level you up. Neat. The one thing that I know just would have been an obscene amount of work on the back end of this game, but would have been a nice detail, is if characters who, like, moved to a job 
like, uh, had their character portrait updated as well. I know why they didn't do it. Because that would be an obscene amount of work. And why the hell would you do that? But like, I don't know, at least for, like, Crom and the Robin. But then at the same time, depending on how they change, like, in this hypothetical universe where they change the, like, diddly Ds, if they did... That would also require them to then change. All right, so we can. But yeah, just like it would be a lot of work for probably not much profit. We're here to kill you. Damn. Traitorous witch! Yeah. You've got to be loyal before you can be a traitor, you idiot. And you're one to talk, extorting a poor innocent girl like me. It's time you learn just how deadly this innocent girl can be. Damn it, she might actually die. Yeah, I probably should have kept her closer by to heal, but then she probably would have been nuked. But either way, oh well. Goodbye, Severa. You're probably gonna die and not get that talisman back. Dodge! It's a 19 hit chance. Good job. And now he's dead. My throne! My empire! And a double level up for you, too. Huzzah! You've saved the village from starvation. You're a true hero of the people, sir. Nah, we're just here to do our job. I just realized that my mouse is visible on the screen. I am an amateur. A fool. Just hilarious that that's like the one window that had it active as a thing. Yes, here it is. Really? Is that a ring? It's my ring, and I'll thank you to stop staring so lustful, lustily at it. It's worth more than anything in the world to me. That rat Nelson stole it one night when I was sleeping. <laughs> well, I'm glad you were able to get it back. <laughs> hmm. Listen. Oh, you. Redeem. What do you want? Thank you. Just a thank you for helping us. You fought bravely, er... Uh, <sighs> Severa. My name's Severa. <laughs> it suits you somehow. Oh, and my name... Hmm. Cordelia, I know. Uh, yes, that's... but how did you know? I'm sorry, did I introduce myself before? <laughs> I guess you must have if I know your name, Gods. <sighs> I see. Well, th thank you all the same, Severa. Fine. You already said that! Besides, it's not like I did anything special. I was just fighting to get back what's rightfully mine. Yes. Are you referring to that ring? Oh, goodness, it looks exactly like... Ah, I see. That would explain how you know my name. You're a friend of Lucina's, aren't you? And you're my child, isn't that right? <laughs> lonely. Huh? What was that? Uh, I said I thought you'd be lonely, so I came here to see you. You're welcome. <laughs> That's very sweet. Ridiculous. Don't mock me. You don't care. You don't care at all. How could you possibly think that? I'm thrilled beyond words to meet you. Are you dead? Then why'd you leave me? You said you had to go off to fight for what really mattered, and you never came back. You picked Crom over me. You have me at a disadvantage, Severa. I can't answer for my future self. But when I said I was fighting for what mattered, I probably meant you. I'd want nothing more to build a world where you could grow up happy and strong. At least that's what I want right now. You think I don't know that? I mean, I do know that, but... I'm sorry I wasn't a better mother to you. Well, you're still my mother, which makes you the best mother in the world. <laughs> She's like a weird yandere daughter. And the luckiest, it seems. And, Mom, I missed you so much. I'm sorry I was so mean. I just, I didn't want to lose you again. Promise you won't leave, okay? Promise. I promise. It's kind of sweet. In an oddly violent way. Multiple shops opened up, but we don't really need to go shopping too much. Let's see what this place has. Second seal, which is nice, because I don't think anywhere else sells second seals. 
but let's do some supports. Mm, yeah. Hey. Sully? Oh God, Sully, what's wrong? You look like a corpse. So worn out and thin, and your skin, it's green. Have you been poisoned? What have you eaten lately? Um... Just the dried seaweed you gave me. Ate the whole bag last night. Uh... Huh? Wait, did you say the whole bag? Yeah. Is that bad? Uh... So you're supposed to tear off a tiny piece and rehydrate it with water first. The chunk I gave you was a month's supply. You ate the whole thing? Oh, dear heavens, your poor bowels. <sighs> Kill you for this. Sully, I'm so, so sorry. I should have explained in more detail. Got my own damn fault. Taking shortcuts. But I won't make that mistake again. Gonna start training. Rebuild muscles. Soon as I'm better. Whoa. You must let me help you somehow. Just, I feel so awful about this. Very kind of you. Well, I don't know. Maybe. Yeah. Oh, God. Here it comes again. Oof. Yikes, that did not sound good. Of course, everything has to be weird. Listen. So tell me about the future, Sevra. Why do you care? It's a different future. None of it will even happen here. Huh? Well, maybe not exactly, but parts of it might, right? <laughs> How should I know? Gods! Listen. Are you upset about something? No, I'm not upset. Stop prying, mother. Well. I suppose it was the frown and furrowed brow that threw me off. It's your enough. fault for dredging up memories of the future. I don't want any of that to happen again, and I don't want you to think about it. Is that all right with you? I'm sorry, dear. I never stopped to think about how hard it must have been for you. It was thoughtless of me. Forgive me? Fine, as long as you learned your lesson. Listen. Well then, let's talk about something else then, shall we? I don't have anything to say to you. Right. No? Well, I have a mountain of questions for you. Come now, indulge your mother, just for a little while. Uh, all right, all right. Thank you. Wonderful. Thank you, dear. Right. Though if you really want to thank me, you'd give me your dessert at dinner. Yes. All right, it's a deal. Sevra is a weird little character. Hey. So, do all shapeshifters turn into rabbits, Pan? Well. No. There are others. There were others far from here. Tribes of cat wearers or bird wearers. Whoa. Oh, I would have loved to see that. I bet they were so cuddly and cute. Er, sorry, I probably shouldn't call a race of proud warriors cute. Right. They were not cute. At least not like the rabbit wearers are cute. <laughs> but then, what is? Nothing. <laughs> right. So did you ever meet these other tribes yourself? Yes. Long ago. How they fare now, I do not know. Perhaps they share the same bloody fate as my own people. I... I didn't mean to. I'm sorry. There is no call for you to share in my gloom. So another question. Um, oh, um, well, what do you like to eat? Oh. Tagul and uh, Togwal eat many things. Yeah. No, I mean you specifically. I'm on my kitchen duty tonight. I'll cook whatever you want. It was my being nosy that made you sad, right? Let me cheer you back up. You are oddly kind. Well. So let me guess. Carrot stew? Hmm. How did you know? Huh? <laughs> Sorry. I know just because you're a rabbit doesn't mean you... Wait, I was right? <laughs> Which is hilarious because rabbits in real life, like, uh, carrots aren't the best for them. Like, they can eat carrots, but they're, like, overly sweet. Especially nowadays where even other fruit are slowly becoming more and more sweet due to selective breeding by humans in farms, to the point that a lot of animals can't eat human-grown fruits anymore because they are just so chunk-full of sugars instead of other things. Humanity really knows how to fuck things up. I... Hey, I think it's time for Daddy-Daughter Day! What? Uh, what? Why? Ridiculous. Does a daughter need a reason to spend a little time with her father? Most fathers would be beside themselves with joy to even being asked. Gods! If you say so. You're right. I should count my blessings. Well then, where shall we go? Right. Into town. I spotted a whole line of shops with the cutest dresses. Okay. Dresses, huh? Well, I suppose you're at that age. <laughs> age? <laughs> In this timeline, you're not much older than I am, Daddy. <laughs> no, I suppose I'm not. <clears throat> I bet most people seen us side by side would think we were brother and sister. What? Oh, yeah. An odd thought now that you mention it. Odd? Is there something wrong with that? Are you embarrassed to be seen with me? You'd, be ra you'd rather be of mother, wouldn't you? No. What? Not at all. You're adorable, honey. Ah, huh? uh, you mean it? Yay, that's so sweet. So, okay, into town. There's this one dress I really, really want. Would you hate me if I asked you to do it for me? Would mother be mad? I could never hate you, Severa. And I'm sure your mother won't mind. You're our daughter, you know. 
You can have anything you'd like. Oh, thank you, Daddy. I love you so much. <laughs> I love you too, Severa. <laughs> too easy. She seems like a, almost manipulative there. Do not be mean to your father. Kellum is a precious boy. He is a poor, precious boy. Now, obviously, Wevern Valley, this will be Cherche's daughter. Darling. Why do you have Victor's voice? You, you fake with a receding hairline. Send the new recruits along. Then get to rounding up another half dozen or so. Wait, Wait what are you doing? See? Just what it looks like. A weapon rider without a weapon to sit on is just a bloke in a lizard hat. Weapons are the sacred protectors of this land, not glorified horses to be muzzled. <laughs> I'd muzzle you had I the time. As it stands, I'll take a quicker path to quiet. Good night. <laughs> no, no, wrong. Sire. Your orders, sir. <laughs> if word spreads, it'll only get more tedious. So, it's yes, better just to kill everyone. Move, very rude. Then again, he's a bastard. Listen. Where does this road lead? Well. To Weven Valley, my lord. Home to Valm's greatest feral Weven population. Good. That sounds interesting. We'll have to be sure to keep our distance. Shame, my Minerva's fit to burst. She's excited others of her kind are near. Really? Oh, she doesn't look that excited to me. Not that I can really tell the difference. Really? Oh, it's easy. She just looks even cuter than normal. Don't you, girl? Don't you look cuter? Who's a good wyvern? I'll, uh, leave you to her, then. So, who is... Nightwing? What? Why is there a superhero here? Did, did this guy and Lucina go, We're both gonna wear masks. Sir, over there, please help! My friends will die if you don't! No. No. What? But, sir, my friends! I'm not fit to fight any for anyone. They're then, they're lost. <laughs> he almost is angsty, like a. <laughs> you there, what's happening? Well, I... My people are fleeing for their lives from a pack of armed brigands, sir! And now we've been separated. Oh, the horror of it all! What? Well, today's your lucky day. We'll aid you and your friends. You will? Oh, thank you. Please, sir, give him what for. Well, why the one guy? Who were you? All right. <laughs> no, I'm unfit. <laughs> Silly man. So, let's see. Are there any other villagers... Nope, it's just this one guy over here. There was, though. Ah, so. What we need to do is send all our flyers over this way so they can fly over and protect these guys. And we'll need somebody to pair with him, maybe. Because obviously, they showed Cherch. He has to be her son. Hmm. Let's see. Who do we want to have for this run? I think we'll take Vike out. Hmm. so many characters that I can use that some of them are going to end up in the back line and not be used. We'll bring Libra along. Put him with somebody. I think this team is good. We're going to save. And fight! Well, obviously... Talk. Wait, you're not one of the villagers. Yes. No, I am Jerome, a traveler. If I may. And a fellow weapon rider, I see. This is a good piece of this is a piece of good news. 
We fight to keep these villagers alive. Will you aid us? Why? No man can stop fate. Oh. These people will be killed by spears, Traveler, not fate. No. Heh. <laughs> Spoken like one who has yet to witness fate's implacable cruelty. Oh. So you do nothing, then, save wandering the land in a fog of cowardice? And your wevern? Has she seen enough? Does she also yearn to surrender? <laughs> you would know better than I. What does that mean? <sighs> nothing. I'll fight if you wish it. Death will always have its due, but perhaps it'll accept a few substitutes. Come, my dear Minerva, join me on one final flight. Oh, that's actually kind of sad. That's actually kind of sad. It's the same Minerva. Oh, no. That's actually kind of sad. Let's see. I guess I'll send you over. Get over there to start protecting. Hopefully, luckily, they're not going to get by for a while. And we'll send uh, one more team. Ah, well, actually, two should probably be able to take care of it. Maybe. Let's see. Two here. Hmm. I think this might be good. Two over here, two here, well, three there, and then two here. Yes. Come on and fight if you have the the balls. And they even brought people with bows because they're a bunch of assholes. I probably should have switched to Donald. Damn it. But since we're in a place where we're probably going to be attacked by all sides. Equip that silver axe. Hmm. I'm, I'm kind of scared because now they're probably going to swarm these villagers. Well, first, let's make sure. Side by side. Luckily, all the villagers are out of uh, the way of these guys. So honestly, I think best to wait. We'll take on the Weverns as needed. Get luna fool! Probably should have uh, switched to Vike because... Frederick is a poor, poor man. You picked a poor person to attack, Bowman. Sure, you have a great chance to hit, but she's a motherfucking dragon. Yes, attack Nawi. Give her all the power of the world. Speared by the great lord, who heals the damage you just did to him by attacking you. Does this make Krom a vampire? I think he's a partial vampire. Now I'm angry. Krom is just annihilating fools. These bowmen keep picking the wrong person to attack.
Get obliterated, fool. Okay, good. They're attacking heroes instead of going after the poor dudes. Be gone, false weapon rider. And this is why we gave her the good axe. First things first. Hmm. I'm just gonna smack you for spear then. Let's see how... I wonder if there's like a difference between this quote-unquote Minerva and the other Minerva. I doubt it because that would be extra like work they have to do, but... Could be interesting. I guess you'll come over here and blast this guy out of the sky. Get out of here. The wing flapping noises are loud. Blast this guy out of the sky. Time for you to go. I called my poor, poor Libra Vike earlier. It was the blonde hair and the axe, I think. Hmm. I probably should have moved them to block these guys from getting in. So basically, we just need to kill this guy, and everything will be fine. So I think I'm going to kill you now. Get stabbed, idiot. Yeah, because now you can't attack a simple villager, so now I have to fight. And dear God, you did a lot of fucking damage, asshole. Now other weapon riders are coming in for the attack, huh? <laughs> Seems these newcomers have a spine. Send words to the boys at the hold. Tell them we've got spines that need breaking. Let's see. Guess I'll move these guys over. To begin cutting them off. Let's see. They send mentioned holds. So, yeah, it's just these holds up here. They'll probably start spawning in dudes to run down. And I don't have anything, so we shall switch to him. Come on down and fight. <laughs> oh, 
Oh crap, they've spawned Weaven Riders. That seems a bit mean. Hmm. Yeah, we need to kill these guys ASAP. I do find it funny they're fighting on land there, even though they were clearly fighting over air. But then how would they have the people that can't fly be alongside them? Aha! Farewell! Be gone, Cretan. This changes nothing, but it does feel good. We found the Edge Meister. Damn it, wish I could control you, because he's probably going to try and come down and smite you guys. I'll suit you with a bow. And leveled up my bow skills. I'm here to kill you. Now die! Good job, Libra. There, we blocked him out from being able to do stuff. You know what? I'm done playing games. You are very rude. Right. <laughs> Thank you for doing the honorable thing and uh, killing yourself. <sighs> You've chosen death, it seems. She's your daughter. Oh, now they're just moving everyone out now. This is bad. Yeah, you guys need to get over here. Stop them from progressing. Kill this guy. Come up here to... Oh crap, that's probably gonna kill her killed. That would definitely get Sumia killed. Yeah, I'm just going to... I'm just going to kill you. Big guy. Get stabbed. The issue is... He has a tomahawk. You have a silver axe. So I'm going to blast you because he might throw at me. The 
Hero must live. Hmm. It is very likely that we will die. That's not good at all. And still likely that we will die. Hopefully the tomahawk guy won't come after you. I knew they'd pick it. Damn it. Good job, Donnie. Well, that's not good. Bastard. Double bastard. And triple bastard at that, because you missed. Now you're probably going to die, aren't you? Good job, Donnie. Jesus Christ, this is not looking good. I knew it, you bastard. And thank you for picking one that can kill you back. Get crystal blasted, idiot. How dare you attack somebody who can't fight back. You coward. You are a triple bastard, aren't you? All right, luckily, we can easily fix this just by going, psych, bitch, Donnie here to kill a motherfucker. Oh, we can't switch. Oh, because we're over a hole. Go ahead and kill you. Locking these guys to be stuck on this bridge and unable to get to the villagers. I'm gonna blast away at you like a dragon. Blast away! Yeah, I'm just gonna blast you thunder. I'm going to annihilate you. That's it. Okay, it seems like everything be good. I would do that, but they would probably <laughs> just go around me and try to kill him anyway. So we're just going to annihilate you. So that you're just gone. Your time. And since we're here, you can go ahead and grab that. I took it upon myself to clear away a bit of gravel here. Safety first. And now you'll be able to do nothing because Donnie is a goddamn badass. You have chosen death. You too have chosen death. You cannot hurt Donald. He is a god amongst you. Hey, no more holding back. The other's back now. We can get Sumia to heal the boy, Jerome. Victory. 
then perhaps good things can happen. We'll pull back just a bit, just in case. And you guys can just stay there. There's no way, no way you're making it over in time. Weather no man, everyone's all snarl and fire until they learn to feel the laugh. The feel of the lash. I wish I brought more, like, tonics over. It doesn't really matter because I need to, I would need to swap to him. Because he would like, likely die. Just kind of box him in. Slowly but surely. Well, if I really wanted to, I could probably, like, separate. Swap. And heal. It'll take multiple heals. But I want to do the thing. And what'd you find? A miniature lance. I'm not gonna use that, that's silly. What is this, a lance for ants? Heal, because of course. just box you in because we can and I guess we'll now schmickety schmack you a little bit go ahead attack him again except you won't <laughs> and you won't because you're a coward why, why do they even have an uh, ally phase they're barely they don't even move there you go, Jerome. I'm... This can't... be. What are you even gonna do? Make an army of Weavern Riders and take over the world? What were your dreams? Ah, oh, saviors! And it's more than lives you rescued. You saved my hope in humanity, too. I thank you for it. Here, sir, a token of my gratitude. Thanks to you as well, friend. Hail, traveler. Take now, take care now. We'll pray for a safe journey for you and your troops. Worm Slayer. Oh, arm scroll and recover and pull and save. So many things. Do you have a moment? What? What is it? I was hoping you might introduce me to your weapon. <laughs> Why? To see which of ours is cuter. Not very sporty of me when mine is the finest in the world, I know. Do as you please. Thank you. I will then. Thank you. <laughs> oh, but you are cute. She's nearly a match with Minerva. Nearly so in every way. Wait, what sorcery is this? They, they look identical. That's because they are identical. They're one and the same. M Minerva? How is this possible? Hmm. You could examine her from tip to tail looking for scars and marks if you'd like. Or you could just look at this ring. I... I know that ring. So then you're... I am. Though I had not intended that we meet. Why not? Listen. I came back in time so I might release Minerva. Not to seek out parents to whom I've already bidden farewell. Oh. You crossed the bounds of time just to set Minerva free? Whatever for? Yes. In the future I know she is among the last of her kind. I... I could not leave her to that solitude. She's lucky indeed to know someone of such kindness. As I imagined, am I? <laughs> Stay your words. I have no intention of getting close to you. 
fate will not be mocked. This war may claim your life anew, and I'll not weep twice for losing the same mother. My burden is heavy enough. Oh. But yet you carry it still. Pathetic. That's enough. Thank you. Thank you, Jerome. Did he even say his name? I don't think he did. Why did we find... Why did we just go on and, like, find the group of angsty asshole children? Well, support we go! Right. All right, that should do it for today's training. Let's stop here. You have my gratitude. Thank you, Father. <sighs> it still sounds so strange to hear you call me that. Um, you don't like it? No. no, no, it's not that I dislike it. It's just different is all. I'm still wrestling with the reality that you, I have a child, and that that child is you. Huh? <laughs> is who? <laughs> I see. Hmm. Oh, but don't tell your mother. You know how she can be. <laughs> it always seemed to me like you told her everything. In the future, I mean. You two were always so close. Uh, uh, oh, come now. You make us sound like a pair of fawning lovebirds. I'm sure we would never embarrass ourselves, especially at court. <laughs> so you say, but your blushing face seems a little less certain. <laughs> it feels good to share a secret. It's been too long. You were always sharing little tidbits of me in the future. What? Was the future me really so furtive? I don't think of myself as a man of secrets. No, oh, that they were just silly little things. Still, it gave me a thrill to hear him. <laughs> so the future me wasn't so much furtive, but more of a hopelessly doting father. Well, well there was one thing you never did tell me. Really? No. Very well. How you and mother first met. Uh, That's um... not the sort of story a daughter needs to hear. Huh? It's certainly one this daughter would like to hear. Why don't we make a little wager? If I manage to defeat you, you'll tell me. <sighs> I'm not so sure that's... What? That's certain you'll lose, eh? Huh. <laughs> Very well. I accept. <laughs> then get ready, Father, because I'm serious about hearing this story. What? And I'm serious about not telling it. So likewise. It depends on which, like, what you mean by, like, how we met. Because the normal version is, well, normal. It's like, yeah, she was just... Knocked out in the middle of a field. We went there. It's like, hey, are you all right? She woke up. Amnesia was weird. If you're talking about, like, how they got together, then yeah. Minerva, you look so sad and woe-begone. I suppose it's my fault, isn't it? If it wasn't for me, you'd be living a life of tranquility in Wevern Valley. I'm sorry that I've dragged you into yet another terrible war. Hmm? What's that? That's not why you're sad. Yes. Ah, oh, yes. I understand completely. Your original mistress is alive in this time, and you pine for her hand on the reins. Really? That's not it either. What? Cherish? Minerva's worried about you. Don't you see the forlorn look in her eyes? <sighs> Minerva, is that true? <sighs> I sense a powerful bond of trust and friendship between you. <laughs> it seems like you've done a fine job of looking after each other. <sighs> We must not be that close if I can't even understand what she's trying to tell me. Come, Minerva, let's go. Oh my. So impatient. I was like, how dare you start to talk to me? How is this going to work out? Yeah. Hey, Jerome. What? What do you want? No. Uh, nothing in particular. I just... <sighs> then why are you talking to me? I'm not here to make friends. Hey. Apparently not. But what about family? Yes. <laughs> he said yes, but he didn't say anything. I've been thinking. We're father and son. Perhaps it started at time we started acting like it. Lucida calls Crom father, right? Maybe you try that with me. You may look like my father, but you are not the same man. My father is dead and gone. You are a stranger. Whatever. Ouch! That was pretty cold, friend. And Crom wins yet again. Look, I know your true father is gone, and I know you must miss him greatly. I thought that maybe our relationship could help heal that wound. Pathetic. Then you are a fool. Hey, that kind of talk is uncalled for. I'm only offering this out of a sense of... <laughs> this conversation is over. I have business elsewhere. I must feed and clean Minerva... <laughs> Minervikins? <laughs> Minervikins? <laughs> I didn't expect that. All right. 
I must feed and clean Minervikins before bedtime. Huh? Minervikins? Huh? Uh, that is... I did not mean to... Bah! Your stupidity is contagious! <laughs> Sheesh, that kid. Why is he such an angst-ridden fool? Well, we're gonna fight this guy just because we can, because eh, why don't we? Why don't we? Alright. Hmm, I don't think some characters will get a lot out of this, so... Frederick might get a lot out of this. Now he might get some... We'll take you back. Hmm. Let me put that in. I do want to also... Ah, there's so many people. Alright, we'll put Libra in. And... Who else? There was one other. And Olivia. So they can do that. Also, the cat wants out because he is an impatient little man. The extra weird thing about my cat is he sits so close to the door, so I have to, like, lift him up, set him down, open the door, and then let him out. No, I can't do things easily, now can we? Hmm. Well, actually, since we're going to pair Jerome with Cherish anyway. Who else? Hmm. So many of these characters. So many people that we need to level up. Oh. We have a whole army to take care of. I guess we can throw Krom in, see if we can level him up. And we're just going to jump in because like, nobody here scares me. Let's see. I don't want to go that far. So we're way behind. I want to pair these two together. Because it amuses me. And we'll just go like that. You bastard! We'll learn a lot of people. They'll just get annihilated. So it gets a decent amount of experience, all things considered. Now let's see. We will annihilate you then. That was amazing. Was it though? Was it really? Why, in fact, I don't think it was that amazing at all. Be annihilated. Good. Almost leveled up. I'm going to stab you with an axe. Stabbing isn't usually what you do with an axe, but fuck it. We'll go ahead and blast you with some magic. Dwagon magic. Love the music. And now let them splash upon us and die. Ah, good. She's the one that needs it. Or one of the ones that needs it the most. Now die. That actually did decently. Like 90... 90%. I was like, wait... What do we call them? 90 what? Even though it basically was 90%. You have come to die upon the face of Jerome. Are you an angsty bastard? Smack this man to death! Gear. 
And we're just gonna do this so that Krom levels up and we can like second seal him or something. Max. Now, who will you fight? Really, anybody you could have chosen, you would have died anyway, because you're a dumb, dumb little risen man. And got a steel sword. That thing that now he can't use. My lord. My lord, we annihilated this group of risen. Their families will never be the same again. Right now, let's take a look. We have five left to do. Now I just... I'm fairly certain that there's, like, no rhyme or reason to the numbering. But it's for my own brain's sake. That's 12. 13. 14. Let me guess, 15 and 16? 16. 16 and 15. All right, then. And off we go. Well, first things first, save. Because paranoia, paranoia, everybody's coming to get me. Blah, 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 blah. Paralogue 12. Disowned by time. Who are you? Who are you? <sighs> Why do you have that coat? Where am I? How'd I end up here? How did you? Is this the place? Mm. Yeah, it's gotta be. The townsfolk spoke of ruins in these parts that carry the legacy of the Divine Dragon. Of course, they ne neglected to mention that the place is crawling with Risen. I suppose we're just gonna have to earn this treasure the old-fashioned way. No. You. You're a tactician. You. And I just, I just realized. Ah. I forgot to second seal Crom. I forgot to do the diddly diddly damn thing. He can basically become anything, it seems. But I don't think that any of these really have anything I care about. Like, yeah, I don't think any of these have any, like, skills I care about. I'm just going to send them back into being a great lord. Except, no, he didn't. Because him being a great lord is perfectly fine by me. In fact, let's just go through everybody's diddly D. Let's go ahead and take all the bullion that we need to sell. We take that sword because... Why do you have two swords? Are you just hoarding swords? That's poor etiquette, young girl. You're a thousand years old. I think that's good. We're going to save again. And uh, then we're going to head in again. Disowned by time, but... Yeah, Morgan. You have that coat. You're a tactician. Alright. So let's bring Jerome on again. We'll pair up Shears, because we can. I guess I'll pair Libra up with Pan. Hmm... I guess I could pair Olivia with somebody who's like, you know, good. We'll keep Cordelia. Let's move Sumia out and put me in because that's important. Because you're a fucking tactician. Although, I could just like, uh, let's see. Let's pair Cordelia up here. Put here. And, uh, what are you doing here? 
What are you doing here, Frederick? You are not meant to be here. Could throw somebody else in. Who should we throw in? Hoobity 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 hoo. Long coup, maybe. Why not? Okay, because I have to know. I have to know. Footsteps. Probably not friendly. And likely more down the, those stairs. Think, Morgan. Think. How would Mom handle this? Well, we're going to find out. Whoop de whoop. Bye, you swoop. Hello. Hey. You don't look like a treasure hunter. What brings you here? Oh. There you are, Mother. I get. I'm just. I'm trying to get this through my head. I'm trying to get this through my head. Cause I'm already. I'm already. The, the, Lucina, you didn't say that you had a brother. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Not even a heads up. Like, hey, my younger brother. He's out there. Let's look for him. No. There you are, Mother. I was beginning to think we got separated. What? I'm sorry, what? Well, no harm done. At least we can head home now. Goodness, the air here agrees with you. You look like a decade younger, at least. Wait, let's go back to the mother thing. Did you travel back from the future of Lucina? Huh? Who's Lucina? Yeah, how? Okay, so you don't know Lucina? And did you seriously just ask me if I came from the future? Why are you looking at me like that? Hello, it's me, Morgan. Your son? Love of your life and strapping young lad and all that? Wow, you're really acting strange today. Let's go home and get you to bed. Uh, but which way is home? Is it... Uh, m my head? Easy, don't try to force it. Just stay calm and listen to me. This sounds mad, but I believe that you came here from the future. What? Are you out of your mind? That's not even possible! All right. Actually, it is. Think about it. You said I looked younger, but look again, closely. Do I look like I'm of an age where I could have a child as old as you? At this point in time, in our time, you still haven't even been born. You do look younger, but it's hard, I know, and you don't have to believe me right this minute. But you must come with me. It's dangerous alone, especially if your memory is gone. I was in the same position once, you know. If Crom hadn't found me lying in that field, who knows what would have happened to me. Wait, you woke up in the middle of a field too? <laughs> like mother, like son, huh? <laughs> That's too funny! Glad to see you inherited my blithe outlook. Just try to stay close, will you? <laughs> yes, ma'am! Interesting. So he doesn't know Lucina? That's weird. That's kind of extra weird. How does he not know that? I'm gonna slash you with a sword. That's interesting. He doesn't know Lucina. Who's Lucina? That's just kind of odd, if you ask me. How would he not know who Lucina is? Well, that's extra interesting. Then again, he did say that his memory is kind of whack, but he remembers his mother, but not his anybody else in the family. Weird little guy. I'm gonna blast you of magic. Let's hear your voice. <laughs> well, at least we have another great tactician on our side. <gasps> oh, don't tell me that I didn't bring anybody that can open a fucking chest. No! I should have looked. I was too focused. That motherfucker, there's chess galore. There's chess galore, and nobody has any goddamn keys. No, no, chess galore. And I don't have guys with me. Fuck. Well, I'm gonna have to fucking take suck it up. I'm gonna have to suck it up. I don't have any keys. Oh well.
Uh, dibbity damn it. Profound sadness. All right, at least the thieves can steal it for me and I can then kill them in turn. Sorry, son, I'm gonna have to take this so I can level up. Get blasted. Although this will be interesting to like potentially see his r interactions with uh, Lucina, potentially, if they didn't skimp out on that. Give me that medium bullion, you little bitch. All done polishing the weapons. Can't fight Jack Squaw without a trusty blade or bow. I'm gonna blast you. Not who I wanted to blast, but okay. That's interesting. And defeat the enemy commander is the goal. You have picked the wrong person to fuck with. You will now be annihilated and die. And you didn't even do any damage. Everyone is attacking Nowie. Noe. I always, I can't remember how she says her name. This is so weird. Okay. He's hit the scale. He said the thing. We have to let that thief steal. We yeah, are considering that. Gonna go ahead and blow you up with magic. I guess I'll let that mage reinforcement just trail after us because we gotta keep marching. We have people to kill. Get out of here and die. Swap. Very interesting. Damn it, I forgot this diddly dee. They were off in the corner, I just went on autopilot. Good job on getting that Ignis. Everyone's just attacking you over and over again. The poor boy. Again. <laughs> it would be so mean if you, like, played on Classic and you lost the person you were playing the mission to recruit in the first place. It's like, congratulations, this ended in a downer. There has to be special, like, events specifically for that, actually. Where you finish a level and, like, I can't believe we didn't save them. There was something about that person. That made them so familiar. But now they're dead. My god, it's gotta be so depressing. And did I not put Krom in here? I think I didn't put Krom in here. I am a fool. Because <gasps> normally they just like default Krom into these. Is he not here? No, it doesn't look like it. Ah. Kind of amusing. And kind of saddening.
The fact that the uh, stone is slightly colored blue throws me off. And I keep forgetting to pair him up with Sully so he can survive. Get Ignis, you fool! Hell yeah! And you're leveling up like crazy! Well, I'll be able to second seal you in no time. I wonder if there's like a, a secret to you, like you're evil or something. It's like, the, you are a unique thing here. And they just keep going for him! Attack somebody else! God damn! Game over! Game over. Leveling up like crazy. And we'll just blast you because we can. Give me that fortify. I'm never going to use it. But I'll kill you for it. Oh no, Krom was paired with, paired with Nawi. I'm an idiot. My brain. I will never know what's in that one chest. At least we got most of the chests by killing thieves. That is indeed something. I guess I'll go ahead and... Nope, can't even reach him because I'm a dumb. Eh, we'll leave you, because we just need to kill the, the boss man up here. Get Ignis, fool! And Petal Blossomed. Max level, haha! Made a fool of yourself, and now you will die! Everyone is making fools of themselves and must die for their failings. Ah, so he's just a normal, ah, I can't do anything, nothing kind of guy. We'll blast you out of the sky, Tomahawk Man. <laughs> and Crom decides to kill still. The eternal kill stealer. Go flying, Mage Man. <laughs> it's still amusing that there's two Minervas. It amuses me greatly. And shoot him out of the sky. I suppose you tried. And blast him out of the sky too. <laughs> Love Lops Galore. And what is your dream, I wonder? What is it? What is thou dream? I think we'll... Ah! The horrors of the world has revealed themselves. Now we must kill! Ding 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 ding. You're bothering me, so I'm gonna let Sully murder you. He survived with one HP, the jerk. Come down here and smite you so you can't do anything. Super smite, okay. 
Blast you out of the sky. Or we'll rather blast you into the sky with this crit, I guess. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to have Lucina and Krom back this man up as he takes on this guy. And hopefully not die. Must kill future child. I just wonder what your deal is. And there's no way else we can do things, and I don't think I have a healer on me. Goodbye, dear boy. Unless I want to send... Ah, we... Ah, we kind of did it. Well, let's not risk it. Let's try to be tactical. Goodbye. We won't let him sat be satisfied with by killing the future child. No killing the future child. That is against the rules. Right. This must be Naga's tear. I can feel the power coursing through it. Sweet! This baby should keep us safe in the battles to come! <laughs> I hope you're right about that, sis. Naga's tear. That's a lot to take in. All right. It's everything we know about the situation at this point. No. The future I came from is in ruins. You sure about that? No. One possible future is in ruins, yes, but you may hail from another path. We're fighting now to ensure that no one's future is lost. Unfortunately, if you join us, it'll mean more fighting for you, too. Well. I understand. I'm sorry, but even after hearing all that, I still don't remember anything but you. Don't apologize. We'll pull your memory back bit by bit if we have to. Besides, if you start apologizing, I'll have to as well. My past is still full of holes, but I'm getting al getting along. And you will too. Yes. As long as you're with me, the rest will work itself out. Now come on, we've got a future that needs saving. <laughs> you, you really do take after me. You know, now that you mention it, there is one thing I remember. Huh? What's that? I've always strived to become a great tactician like you. Even though this war is terrible, at least now I can learn from you firsthand. Whoa. Well, you're nothing if not optimistic. Wherever, whenever you came from, I'm glad you made it here, Morgan. <laughs> Me too. I did not expect that. I thought, oh, Lucina. But I guess that's more Crom's child than anything. It's just I didn't expect Morgan. I didn't expect this. Today I came one step closer to my place in the sagas. What do you dream of? Me, I dream of big profits, obviously. So drop by my shop and help a girl out. And nothing was earned. Sherson Jerome. If I Jerome, might I have a word? What? If you must. Oh. What is this attitude of yours? Must you always turn a cold shoulder to me? <laughs> I did not pass through time to make bosom companions on the other side. And I especially did not come here to make friends with you. Well, yes, charming and pleasant as ever. Well, I actually came here to talk about Minerva, not us. I have a request. What is it? Uh. You handled the rain superbly. I was hoping you'd teach me what you know. I have nothing to teach you. I just sit in the saddle and follow Minerva's lead. No, no. Oh, hogwash. I've seen how you two swoop and dance in the sky. Plus, you handle the lance of such verve. A skilled writer like yourself has a great deal to teach me. Pathetic. How skilled could I be to still fall victim to the cruel whims of fate? How skilled could I be when I was unable to protect those I loved? Really? Sometimes, no matter how strong you are, you cannot change destiny on your own. But you know that, don't you? That's why you've taken up arms in our cause. <clears throat> yes, it's true. 
By joining you, I hope to accomplish what I could not alone. You must teach me. If not for my sake, then for your own cause. Yes. I... I cannot deny there is truth to your words. Very well. And slowly they come to know each other. <sighs> this place is a mess. I really should straighten up more often. Is that a... What? Gods, I've never seen Morgan run so fast. Are we under attack? Morgan, what happened back there? Are you all right? L Lucina! Very well. Breathe, Morgan. Calm down and tell me what happened. You have nothing to fear now that I'm here. R roach! A roach! Huh? A roach? As in a bug? Mm -hmm. Not a bug. I love bugs. A roach! A huge freakish nightmare one with gross hairy legs. It's horrible! <sighs> You're telling me... All of your screaming and flailing was over a cockroach? Uh, I thought the Risen had come. You could have sent the pa camp into a panic. Ah! It's back! And it can fly! Stay away! Don't come near me! What? Come now, I don't see what all the fuss is- Eee! <laughs> see? See? It's the stuff of nightmares! Now hurry up and kill it! Kill it with fire magic or something! Uh, no, I'm not going near that thing, it's huge! It's so what? What happened to having nothing to fear now that you're here? How are you gonna win this war if you can't even smoosh one stupid roach? But don't you see? Those two things are not related in the slightest. And you wanna be a tactician, right? So figure out how to kill it. What? What's to figure out who plans out strategies for killing insects? Look, you're the older one. You do it. Father told you to protect your little brother, didn't he? No. Er, well, I suppose he did. All right, I'll do something about it. Fantastic. Thanks, Lucina. Three cheers for the once and future exalt. You're a royal too, you know. I wouldn't kill you to show a bit more spine. Hey, now's your chance. It just crawled to a corner behind that shelf. What? It's too dark. I can't see it. Well, you should light up Falcon, then once you spot it, stab! <sighs> Falcon is not some common pitchfork, Morgan. It's a blade of legend. <laughs> all right, all right. I'm sorry, I... <laughs> ah! It's flying again! It's flying! As formidable a foe as it may be, I won't allow it to set a single hairy leg on you. Go, Lucina, go! Get him! Hey. What in the name of... What are you two doing in here? Father? Father? Huh? Father! <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, you two. All that commotion over a silly insect? What are you thinking? <sighs> sorry. I'm, so I'm sorry, sorry, Father. No. Just see that it never happens again. <laughs> Figures he would be the one to get it. He's unshakable. It's true, although he was a lot less calm when it came to scolding us. Huh? Uh, are you still down about that? I actually rather enjoyed it. I can't remember the two of us ever getting in trouble like that before. It felt strangely familiar somehow. Kind of a happy, nostalgic feeling. <sighs> I confess, it did have its moments. That was amazing. Just the mere fact that they like... <laughs> that was like a true family moment. I loved it. Listen. Neon. Look, I crafted a new javelin based on your feedback. Huh? You made one? Yes. Er, yes? Um, As in, you forged it yourself. You didn't assemble it from a kid or something. Well, no, I cut a sapling, fashioned a grip, and hammered the point in the forge. I suppose I could have waited around for the javelin's javelin fairy, but she's so unpredictable. Here, look. See the pattern on the shaft? It's my own design. Well, what do you think? Whoa. I think that I wasn't expecting you to go and fashion a whole javelin from scratch. You really are a genius. Huh? I beg your pardon. <laughs> I, I sorry. I know you're sensitive about that word. I take it back. Anyway, I'm glad I was able to help. If there's anything else I can do, <laughs> Neon, you are far too kind. Why, if I, no, wait. We can't be doing this. People get the wrong idea. Huh? Doing what? What wrong idea? Yes. If you're so, too so kind to me all the time, people start to think we're friends. <laughs> no, not friends. <laughs> oh, I thought you were going to say something else. Er, but why would that be so bad? We are friends, aren't we? D do you think so? Truly? Um, of course. Why not? Right. Oh, I'm sorry. I guess I guess I grew accustomed to not having any. I was the youngest recruit in the Pegasus Knights. All of my comrades were veterans. There was no one whom I could truly call my friend. <laughs> That's so very sad. Oh, uh, well, as I said, I grew accustomed to it. Besides, I did have my Pegasus to talk to, even if the chats were a bit one-sided. <laughs> I guess they would be. <laughs> That's kind of weird. There's like... They would get the wrong idea. They would think that we're friends. Hey. Oh, mother, over here. Come with me a moment. Huh? What is it, Morgan? 
Oh, nothing. It's just, come on, I need to talk to you about something. Sorry. Well, I'm afraid I'm, I'm a bit busy at the moment. Can we talk here? What? Here? Uh, that's not really... I can just wait, thanks. Whoa. Are you sure it's nothing urgent? Uh, no, it's... <laughs> I'll be right back. Okay, all set. Now to lure Mother into this pitfall trap. <laughs> Why? <sighs> I'm back. Hey, let's take a walk, shall we? Right this way, Mother. You're acting very strange, Morgan. Almost. Just a couple more steps. Huh? A pitfall? No, that's a classic. Dang, how did you know? I was super careful disguising it. It didn't look suspicious at all. Wow. True, your work of, on the pit is first class, but your odd behavior made it obvious. Subterfuge and misdirection are half of any good trap, Morgan. Dang, this. I'll get you next time. By the way, as long as you're here, mind helping me fill in this hole? If someone fell in by accident, they could it really hurt themselves. <sighs> Wait, how deep did you make it? <laughs> I can't believe my son tried to murder me. Well, I wonder why I have no memory of my father. All my memories of mother are so crisp and clear. I remember what an amazing tactician she was, all the time we studied together, but nothing at all about my father. It's one big blank. Hey. What are you up to, Morgan? Father. father, it's amazing. I was just thinking about you. Is this fate? This is totally fate. Family style fate. No. Wait, no. How did mother put it? We're not pawns of some scripted fate. It's the invisible ties we forge that bind us. <laughs> so yeah, it's not fate. It's the whole invisible bond link thing. <laughs> is that so? Mm -hmm. Yep, even without my memories, there's an invisible thread that links us. Er, uh, but that reminds me. I'm just wondering how I could have possibly forgotten you, Father. Do you think maybe you could help me get those memories back? Right. I'd be happy to try, after all. <laughs> Yay! Thanks so much! I'll start preparing. Oh, I can't wait to get started! Well, he's certainly got energy to spare. I find it funny that the Morgan and Lucina one... It was like super long. Wait, does that mean that you could like? I wonder how many like uh, possible sibling combinations there are. Well, just to keep going, cause hmm. Well, at least do one more to try and cut down. Paralog thirteen, rival bands. Cause there's so many paralogs, and I want to get along with it. <laughs> Turn around and get lost, swine. This land belongs to the Stonewall Knights. If you need a second notice, I'll write it down on your men's corpses. What? Yeah, a pile of corpses could still outfight you, sorry lot. This is our territory, and no one gives orders to the Riders of Dawn. Hmm? What do you make of that? Mercenaries from the look, rival bands squabbling over some petty matter. A common enough sight in these dark times, my lord. But if it comes to bloodletting, the nearby villages will pay for it. Right. Then let's make sure it doesn't. <laughs> Stick up full of holes, boys! <laughs> Time to fertilize the field, soldiers! <laughs> well, diplomacy's probably out. Ah. Seems our best option is to end the fighting as quickly as possible. Allying ourselves with one side or the other would certainly expedite things. <sighs> A band of riders or a band of knights? Time to make our choice. <coughs> we have to make a choice? Ah. I, I think I'm leading to like the second guy, but... I do not know. I do not know. Well, let's see. The fact... Well, we know who you are! Mr. Togwall. Okie dokie. But they all seem to be up. They're all enemies of us. So it seems that we are automatically sided with these guys, with Dallin. Then again, we could kill Dallin. And these nearby villages, though. Hmm. So what we need to do... Is pair you up, fly over, talk to him, probably. Oh, first things first, we need to decide who goes. I would say Naoi, so we could probably level her up some. Guess I'll take you two out, put Morgan in. I don't know who else. 
so many characters. I guess I can throw you in so you can suffer. Save just in case, and let's get to fighting, maybe. More cell swords? Ha, your timing is right, impeccable. I'll buy your steel and see you're well compensated for the trouble. Right. Well, Neon, shall we back the knights? Hmm. They do have the villages surrounded. So I'd say, hmm. But I don't know. I do not know. Because does it matter? I'm just wondering. Who do I want to? Hmm. I don't know, because they have the boy! And we'd be able to pick him off, presumably. Meaning that would be a much faster fight on our side. Huh. I wonder if I could just kill them all. <laughs> hmm. I'm just wondering. Just wondering. I do not know, I do not know. I'm just wondering. Because could I just annihilate them both? Can I just say no to both? Because... Hmm... Because either saying no would mean that the other side propositions me. And then I... Hmm... I wonder... I... We saved! I want to see what happens if I turn them both down. I assume. Yaha! <laughs> There's a sensible lad! Come fight with us instead! I'll pay you twice with that fool wood. Listen. I can turn them both down. Either it'll cycle back to red, or it means I get to fight them both. I want to know. What? So it's neither, is it? Which means you aim to fight them both. <laughs> if, oh, then I guess I could say no, and then it'll begin cycling again. I'm going to fight them both. <sighs> I should have known. Are you sure about this? Maybe more of them in hiding, you know. But I'll leave the final choice to you. Yes. Are you ready? So be it. Shepherds, to arms! Jesus! Okay, more in hiding indeed. I can't believe the game lied to me. And talk. Hello, boy. You. That scent. It smells like... Ho, oh, you there. Yeah, what do you want? Well, you are a Togwall. Oh. Yeah, well, so are... Gods! Mother! Hmm. Mother? God, you nearly gave me heart failure. I'd given up ever finding you. You wouldn't believe how dangerous it is here. All these cell swords and brigands. Anyway, I found you. That makes the trip back in time more than worth it. Right. So you came with that man spawn Lucina, did you? Hmm... Explain to me why my son consorts of common thugs. Hmm. Huh? Uh, hey, I didn't have a choice in the matter. You were nowhere to be found, and roaming around alone is a recipe for extinction. I figured I'd be safe if I took up with some strong allies, and so I... Wait, are you angry? Because you look kind of ang... <sighs> of course I'm angry! No son of mine will survive by taking the path of the coward. You're coming with me. I'm going to teach you some Togwall pride, starting right now. <laughs> that is hilarious. Pair together. Oh, because I paired them together. Meh. Damn it, I forgot to second seal. Oh, well, I'll, I'll, I'll eat that one. They're gonna just rain upon us. 
super hard. Not the boy! I don't want him to die! God damn it. They're gonna go all after- Wait, no, they won't be able to. None of them are ranged! Ha ha! You fools! And I forgot to equip the sword. Get a third. Ah, oh, crap. They are kind of ranged. Please dodge, you fool! Thank you. Good job. Nice block. And get obliterated. And they're gonna come down one by one. Huzzah! I wonder what kind of classes now he can become. Are they all gonna aim for me? I think they are. I should have brought a healer. Jesus fucking Christ. He does have an elixir, though. I'm gonna come in with my axe. He is deathly. Hmm. I guess I could just like send Naoi to all of the places. Because she seems to be basically immortal. see. There's one thing I want to do is separate. Come down here. Because I want to pair this guy with Lucina. Just because I can. I'm gonna use my Levin sword, because you ugly. Get Ignis, fool! Blast! I don't even need to stab you with it. I can just, like, shoot you with it. I'll go ahead and blast you, because I can. Don't worry, you found another one. Ah, lethality! Now you'll be able to kill so many people. I'm gonna blast you because I can. And because now he is just fucking badass. Now they're just gonna come barreling down upon us all. Get thunder sorted. No, Krom, don't die! All these guys are fucking scary. Never mind, now he's actually at risk of being attacked by them one by one. The worst fate.
Donald is immortal, you fools. He is a god. Donald does not fear you. Donald fears no man. And you picked the wrong person to attack there, idiot. Get blasted. <laughs> Minerva, quickly flying. Amuses me greatly. Picking the wrong guy. Donald is immortal. He will never die to fools like you. Yeah. Although the the green army coming in slightly worries me. Here comes the green army. The nightmares. Murder. It feels good. So even if some of my crew are weak to these fools, I know that I have the immortal Donnie. Who is running out of weapons. A triple zero, my man. I like that they're not even going for each other. So like, you deny aid from us both, or like, you deny to aid us both, we'll attack you then. Jesus Christ! It just keeps going! But obviously this has to, like, obviously this has to be the right thing to do. These guys were like, threatening the villages. Even though they're like, absolutely insane and now coming after us instead. Jesus fucking Christ, there's so many of them! I'm gonna falcon you to death. Get ignis, fool! Good job, uh, your name. Who are you? What is your name? He is... Uh, yarn. We'll strike them down one by one. Or just instantly. I'll blast you just because you're an idiot. You're a fool. You decide to be mean. I'm just having Naoi continue because uh, this is no time to put Morgan in danger. I'll shoot you with a bow and arrow because I can. Overkill to the extreme. That did not need to happen. I'll go ahead and steal axe you to death. Utter annihilation. Now let me see. Ah, oh, these guys can move. But I guess these are more classical. I have to get in their range for them to attack me. All of their allies will uh, prefer to attack me one by one, though. They charge at me while their allies don't. Good job, Olivia. Even though he said, don't fight my battles, I say continue to fight those battles. Stab this man. Stab this man into utter oblivion, it seems. And we can just do it again, <laughs> if I so choose. I shall come down here and, uh... Throw a javelin, I guess. <laughs> Utter annihilation. Thank you. Now die.
Get aethered, bitch. You thought you were smart, you're not. Accept your fate. Accept your fate. What if I don't wanna? What if I wanna keep fighting? They're just gonna keep coming one by one. At least Jerome is being a badass. Leveling up like crazy. We're gonna have this Minerva decked out in armor in no time's flat. At least they're attacking the ones that are actually decently powerful and can take it. And then there's poor Naoi. Or again, however you say her name. Naoi, Noe. That was a super leap there, my boy. It just keeps going. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ! That bonus damage, though. Get crit. Leave the boy alone! Leave the boy alone! At least you don't have a bonus attack, but Jesus. All these guys keep coming in to die. Good job, Morgan. Stupid bully! Stupid bully. They all just keep coming in one by one to die. Just like Jesus. It's never ending. Jerome is just murdering all these dudes. It would be hilarious if he got to level 20 just because they keep fucking attacking him. No, he can't even level up anymore. But I'm not going to swap Morgan in because then he'd get obliterated by these guys. And now Pan gets some action. One shot. Lol. Ah. Well, at least now we're in a safe place. Do all crits just give off cherry blossoms? That'd be hilarious if true. Well, let's see. Can you annihilate this man? You can. Then sort him to death. Get Ignis when you really don't need to. Success. I have murdered another person today. You are on your way to becoming a great tactician. Maybe I should have let him just stand there killing these guys. Go ahead and stab. stand in the way of that building. Please die. But yeah, personally I think wiping out both the armies is probably the best answer. If only because if these guys are willing to kill each other just because, oh, this is my land. Uh, I don't think I like them and I want them to die. Yeah, I'll just... Nah, since uh, there's no point to do it, we'll just... Not ah oh, damn it. Fine, strike him from up here. Falcon time. 
Everyone is now. Every, I'm now noticing all of the anything can change. Diddly diddly dee. Let's go ahead and visit. Our village suffered enough of one band of sellswords strewn about, but two. Here, I'll give you this if you just make them stop fighting. Well, they're gonna stop fighting one way or another. <laughs> hmm. Fine, we'll come up here and. Stand by because don't want to die. Well, that's not good. Good, you missed. Got him to ribbons. And now they're all coming for the boy. Motherfucker. Oh, now they're both on the move. Okie dokie. Uh. Gonna switch and visit. Every time this lot has a go, our fields get trampled and our houses destroyed. Ain't no matter to which uh, uh, to us which side wins, so long as it's over quickly. Here then, take this and get those sorry lunkheads out of here. Draco shield, nice. I'll visit. Please, Welcome, please. friend. We're supporters of the Riders of Dawn here. Take this hammer to send those pesky knights running for the hills. Well, uh, I'm here to kill them both. Sorry to tell you, but I'm here to just annihilate them both. On the front of fuck off. I'll go ahead and kill this guy and get him out and let you get some experience. He's so friendly and adorable. Hmm. Just because we can, we'll team up here to guard Krom. And like that one guy will probably okay good you're going for ranged you'll never breach the impenetrable forces of the stonewall knights i've just annihilated your entire army and that's why you're coming to fight me oh no he, oh at least he'll live and you missed anyway huzzah literally in this case You'll never stop the unending march of the Riders of Dawn. Your army is decimated. And your guys are just being pricks to these poor people. Now die. Lol. But, but how? So powerful. No, the boy! There's even a- oh, his ears are drooping because he's damaged the fucker. Visit. Please. Greetings, traveler. We're backers of the Stonewall Knights. Try this lance out and we'll put those dastard riders in their place. It's not really so- like, why would you support either of these guys? They're just a bunch of jerks. Out here murdering all these people. Also close to leveling up. Yeah, 
I will let, wait one more and see what he does. I shall shoot him with a bow. And let's see. If Yarn attacked, he would do no damage. Sorry, Yarn, you're not that good. What about you, Olivia? You also wouldn't do much. What about Libra? Wouldn't really do much either. But maybe... Libra could maybe get a crit! It won't help. Okay, never mind. Two crits were barely enough to kill him. Impossible. Too strong. Booyah. My prayers have been answered. And now there are no cell swords running about this place, being jerks. Lord. The fighting is over, my lord. That should spare the villagers from any further damage. Good. Good. Though I still don't understand why they had to fight in the first place. Right. Competition, my lord, a sad consequence of this war. Farm the land and your fields are pillaged. Open a shop and your goods are stolen. It's a little wonder men take up steel and become mercenaries. Or worse. There's only so much gold to go around, and so they fight for dominance. Seems they'll continue to do so until it's safe to be a farmer or merchant again. All the more reason for us to end things as quickly as possible. Ah. Well put, my lord. Shall we be on our way? Thank you. We're relieved to be rid of the lot of them. No better than brigands they were. You have put- you have our thanks, sir. Please, accept this. Hmm. You're very kind. Thank you. I got a lot of money! Hell yeah! You. <laughs> what she said. Yeah, you scared me! Don't go sneaking up behind people, you give them whiplash. Hmm. What is your name? <laughs> Yarn, don't you remember? You're the one who gave it to me. Right. So you truly are my child. Mm. Um, I'm a tug wall, right? I kind of have to be. Well. I suppose blood does not lie. I am pleased to see you, my son. You represent a new hope for our race. Hmm? No pressure there. <laughs> you are living proof that man and Togwall can coexist. Nope. Hey, I didn't do anything special. I was just born. You're the one who proved all that bridging the gap stuff. You're the one who married a human. Er, uh, thanks for doing that, by the way. Even if I can't take credit for it, I'm proud of my heritage. Right. It gladdens me to see my son value pride. May it keep always. That's adorable. The merchant, well, our merchant. So many risen. Let's do some supports. First with Libra. What do you think of your father? Um, um Yarn? Is there a reason you're staring at me like that? Hmm. I'm trying to read your face and find out if you're cheating on Mother. Yes. By the guards, Yarn. Cheating? I'd never do such a thing. I've been faithful to Pan since the day I proposed. Hmm. Oh, all right then. If you're telling the truth. Why would you think I was cheating? If someone's spreading rumors... <laughs> nope, the idea just popped into my head the other day. You see, I got to thinking, what would happen to me if you suddenly decided Mother wasn't good enough? Huh? Hmm. See, I'd been assuming that all I had to do was make sure you both stayed alive. Eventually you'd have me, and poof, my existence would be guaranteed. But then, that would all change if you left Mother for another woman before I was born. The very instant you made the decision, I would just wink out of existence. The thought of it sends a chill down my spine. This poor guy is having an existential crisis! Yes. Hmm, I guess I see your point. Don't so I'm- with a bunny. <laughs> That line! <laughs> that line! Don't mess with a bunny! So I'm going to be keeping a very close eye on you to make sure you toe the line. Now hold on just one minute. Don't worry, I'll make an exception for temporary dalliances during battle. Just as long as the fraternizing stays on the battlefield. 
Anyway, I've got to be going, but remember, I'm watching you. <laughs> Naga, give me strength. That is kind of hilarious that he has an existential crisis of like, what if father d doesn't like mother anymore? And I never get born! <laughs> He's overthinking the time travel. Yarn. Yeah, I, what do you want? Hmm. Are you trying to avoid me? Hmm. Well, what? Me? Avoid you? Gosh, no! It's just I, I just had an urgent errand I was going to attend to. Right. What kind of errand? Collecting provisions? Perhaps I could accompany you. Uh, what? yeah, I don't know, it's just... Yes. Is there a problem? <laughs> N not exactly. Uh, enough of this pre uh, prevarication. We are kin, yes? <laughs> of course, but... Well, but what? Uh... The mother in my future died when I was still young. Before I could remember. I don't know what it's like to have a mother. Especially a Togwall mother. <sighs> Neither do I. I have no idea how Togwall mothers and children interact with each other. My friends and kin were taken from me by humans when I was still an infant. Hmm? Well, wait, then you... I could have sworn that... Didn't she mention her mother before in another one? I forget. Like, I thought that she mentioned something of, like, living... That's weird. So, you have no idea how we're supposed... You were supposed to act either? I do not. But does it matter? We can forge a new tradition of what it means to be a Togwall mother and son. Mm -hmm. Hey, that's a great idea. We'll learn how to be a family together. Adorable. But still, I love the concept of him having an existential crisis. Yeah, and then 15 and 16 are up there. You know what? I think I'm going to go ahead and do this one right now. That way we can clear this away and finish it up next time and continue the story. Desert Oasis, Paralogue 14, Shadow in the Sands. What? A mirage village. Yes. All rumors of one at any rate. People claim to have spied a desert village that sometimes appears during sandstorms. Takes, tales speak of legendary goddess staff that sleeps there, but who can really say? Really? That sounds like it could be, I forgot to do the fucking thing again! Guess it doesn't matter. We don't need to bring me along, but ah, I keep. For Never mind. Nope. I keep forgetting when people reach good levels. I'm supposed to frickin' do things. Meh. Well, second seal. That's not what I meant. Use. So you can become a Weaven Rider, a Griffin Rider, a Sage, a Dark Knight, a Weaven Rider, a Mage, or uh, go back down to being Manakee. Let's see. It was... Ah, uh, if you can't do the thing, I don't know. I think I'll just keep you manakee because you're super awesome. Because if she could have become, like, a... The Dark May... Or, like, the, the Mage Flying Pegasus Knight, I would have made her one so she could get Gale Force, but oh well. Stay a manakee. Because you're awesome. Ooh, nice. I feel 200 years younger. That is pretty a lot for you. All right. Second seal for here as well. I can go back to being a Grandmaster. I can become an assassin. But then I'd lose my magic, and I'm built on magic. It's odd seeing two children things there. I can become any fucking class. Interesting. But I think I might just go keep being a Grandmaster. Being a Grandmaster is awesome, and I don't really want to lose anything. So I'm just going to stay being a Grandmaster. I'm going to go ahead and skip since something changes. And you, Cordelia, can also second seal. Hmm. Falcon Knight. It's like, uh... Because you are currently... Dang it. Uh, Dark Flyer. I 
think I'll just keep you a dark flyer. There doesn't seem to be like any other like super duper. So yeah, you'll stay a dark flyer. I like what you are. Dark flyer, yes. I'm certain that there's like some reasons, like certain classes that are more like optimal to go down, but I don't really care right now. And Yarn. I think I'm going to use him a lot because I like him. I like the Tog Wall. Alright. Now that's done. Let's go ahead and do this now proper like. Shadow in the Sands. Can't skip too much. A Mirage Village. One with a Magical Staff. Really? And that sounds like it could be helpful. It may be nothing more than idle talk, but it still bears further investigation. Just take care, sir. The Sands are home to armed barbarians. Every year, sees a few villagers go chasing the myth and finding the grave instead. I will not stop you, but be sure you're well armed and fully prepared. We don't even get introduced? Is this just... Is this just a normal... Is this just a normal... No. This is just a normal paralogue? It doesn't even have an attached future child? Is that what you're telling me? <laughs> oh, that... Oh, that, that, that's funny. Okay, I, I have to look him over one by one just to make sure that I'm not like... But that's hilarious. Oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> okay, good. He's a stationary. Oh, but that's hilarious. I thought that, like... I thought... <laughs> greatly. Alright, let's see. I think we'll take Libra out and put somebody else in. Gaius, I want to level him up more. Our two assassins, I think that might be good. Okay. Oh, that amuses me so much. <laughs> let's see. Oh, but that amuses me greatly. That amuses me so much. But yeah, I think this will be good. Start battle. <laughs> Here we are, boys. The Golden Oasis. They say the villages around here are feared to burst in with red treasure. It just... It still amuses me greatly, that... <laughs> Really. Amuses me greatly. I, I, I'm just going to say, the, the diddly d like, child better not pop up out of nowhere. And this better be, a, like, of an, actually just an amusing haha. -ha, we're going to throw in one normal paralogue to throw you off. There better not be a, a random child that shows up here. Because I have half a mind to reload again. Because the conversations are important, damn it. They say the villages around here are filled to bursting with rare treasure. 
Kick down every door you see. Don't let a single coin slip by. But I just want to check everyone again, just to make sure. Ruffian, 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 ruffian. Ruffian, ruffian, ruffian. The mir I, I, I doubt it at this point, purely because nothing has been said, but... It's so odd. I feel like I'm being played. I feel like I'm being played and I don't like it. I don't like it, man. I do not like it, man. I really don't. There's just something about it. That just, just something. There's something about it and I don't like it. Oh, because there's people in the way. Hmm. Morgan, go with your father. The fact that he is now alone in the world makes me worry that we're gonna get a random motherfucker coming in. Don't you fucking dare game. I swear to fucking god, man. Like I swear, I swear to god, don't you fucking dare. Like seriously. Don't. Don't you dare. Not once. Not at all. You better not. You look important. Are you he? Are you the laugh at my life, love? That Mirage village must be located very near to here. Though I fear my own research for it has borne naught but ill fruit. No doubt Mother would have this mystery unraveled in moments. I think I know who you are. A person talking about their mother with a unique portrait in a paralog? And I think I know exactly just by the looks at you. We'll keep going just a little bit, but I'm probably going to be restarting. No doubt Mother would have this mystery unraveled in moments were she here. I think, I think I know. I'm gonna give it a, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it a look. I'm gonna give it a look see, because I have to know, I have to. I have to, person with unique sprite say, mentioning their mother in a paralog. <laughs> and after all that laughing that I did, after all that laughing that I did, but I think I know. Just the fact that he's a mage with a big pointy hat mentioned his mother who would research shit? Let me guess! Hello. I am very... I, I am very... Angry with you. <laughs> Game, you fuck. You made me think I was gonna have a final time. You didn't even... There was no hint. There was no hint. None. At least with the other ones, you could like, look, he was hidden in a village! A village! You fuckers! Blah, 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 blah. Yeah! But I knew it, I knew it, I knew it that the moment that I saw this motherfucker with a big ol' hat! Knew it! Eureka, it's you! Curious, I have no recollection of making your acquaintance. Though few things are as unreliable as the human memory. Excuse ah, forgive me. I forgot that you have not uh, met me before. My name is Lornet. Lor... Laurent. Are you here in search of the Mirage Village? Yes. 
That is my cause, yes. I see. Mine as well, though I fear my efforts thus ye far yield precious little progress. Still, an excess of evidence exists for the village to be baseless rumor alone. Right. An assumption on your part that, Same. might I accompany you in your research? I feel certain that your help will lay exposed that which has eluded me alone. Mm. Mm, I worry your hypothesis lacks a certain scientific rigor, and yet there exists the possibility I am in error on this count. So yes, you are welcome to join us. My Excelsior, I assure you, I will not be a burden. And then the fuck of the hills just went away! What? It just went poof! Hokey dokey! Sure thing, motherfucker! And I just realized I'm a dead 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 <laughs> my goddamn mind! <laughs> but wait, I think we have to, like, make way to that village, because he just said that they're gonna start, like, attacking. Attacking a schmacking. Whackity schmackity! Ten episodes. What did you say? <laughs> Gotta level up now, because she's badass. I can't believe that they hid the motherfucker in a village. That's just so mean. Like, sure, they placed it right there, but there was no hint that he existed. And they're all moving towards the villages. Let's see. Can you kill? You can kill. So kill. Wackity schmackity this man to death. He fears for his life. The hilarious thing is, I'm probably going to be sending him down the path of uh, Assassin as well, just so I can, like, level up his ship. Hmm. Alright, because I have to swap to you so I can better, like, get to the village before the other guys do. It's just, they, they didn't mention him. They didn't put Muriel in. They just fucking messed with my soul. Hmm. But it amuses me. Okay, we're going to separate. Combine. Combine. Super combine! Blast him out of the air, bonus damage. That is overkill beyond belief. Swap and blast him with fire. Annihilate this man. <laughs> and then Krom comes in with the overkill of the century. You tip the scale. Ooh, we might be able to end this off with a master seal, did Lady. I'm gonna shoot you with this bow because you're ugly. Sweet.
I'll hide here. Faster. Luckily, he has 48% to do no damage. Again, I wonder what would happen if somebody like... Because I assume that there's like programming in there to make it so that you have to have like some level of like potential to do damage. And if you don't, you just like don't do any... Like uh, you don't get a chance to crit. But I just think that it would be hilarious if... Like, it didn't work like that. The problem is... They're all gonna rain down on us now. Luckily, the boss is like a stay there boss, I think. So he shouldn't come running. I'm just gonna run up here, and they're probably all gonna come charging. Leave the boy alone! You have faced the wrong person this day. This is that was not planned, and you know it, boy. He's going to become a great tactician. This is probably going to level him up. Get blasted out of the sky, maybe. Especially because Krom is there to make sure it happens. I swear, if there's like a second child in this other village that requires their mother to come pick them up, I am going to be livid. So you better not. You better fucking not. Good. Not many make it out this far. You must be near exhausted from the sands. Here, then, take this as a reward for your efforts. A mirage village? No, I'm afraid we're quite the ordinary one. <laughs> Perhaps you'll find what you seek further west. And then you fucking disappear. I feel like we're being fucked with. Dropkick this man. You can tell that Yarn wasn't raised by Togwell. Because his form when transforming just is not perfect. His legs are bent instead of straight. They can't believe they gave the rabbit anxiety. How could they do this to him? It's just, it's, again, it's just fucking hilarious. Can't believe they almost cheated me out of finding the child. <laughs> That's so really dramatic. You saved my race. And yet at the same time, technically not wrong. He is such a darling. I love him. Can't believe they gave the rabbit anxiety. That's a lot of health, my dude. Would you like to die? Lose it all? <laughs> Seeing Krom just run across the sands. And we're going to have ourselves a grand tactician in a moment. But something you said further west. Is he saying that the sparkle could be? Get! The fuck? The fuck? What the fuck? Why? Why would they do this to me? Okie dokie. Uh, I'm going to assume we want them to grab it. Uh huh. Yeah, I'm just gonna let him come to me now. Ew, so 
Not many make it out this far. You must be near exhausted from the sands. Here then, take this as a reward for your efforts. A mirage village? Not everyone can see. No, everyone can see us just fine. <laughs> Perhaps you'll find what you seek on the far side of the oasis. Well, so long as we don't, like, activate the boss man, I think we're fine. Blast this man with a bow. Holy Thality proc, nice. <laughs> I love it. It's like Persona 5 up in here. I still need to play the Persona series. Like, I think I did one or two, like, Persona streams, but then I stopped because, well, probably depression. Then again, it could be that Persona 4 just felt like a game that I preferred to play on my own time. Like, maybe I'll, like, uh, make it into, like, something like this. Where I record it. Instead, perhaps. Good job, Lucina. And we'll go ahead and smack this guy down. <laughs> what they said about... Okay, we have to go down here just to protect the goddamn thing. Fight back, little boy. Good. They're not going for the Mirage Village. Yeah, blast you. It blasted. Level up for Nowi. Keep forgetting your name. Smack him, rabbit man! Overkill galore! Come up here and smack this guy to death. I should probably be letting Jerome get some kills in. Go ahead and bronze sword this man. Get murdered. You have a son now. Be happy about it. That's actually kind of a badass line. I grow weary of you. And I shall steel sword you. Or in this case, from like candy from a barbarian man. I think I'm just going to uh, stay back here. Make a protective line. Lethality time! And... Hell yeah. That was tasty. Murder, my favorite flavor of ice cream. No, the boy! Oh, 
Booyah! You picked the wrong guy to attack, honestly. Again, you're just picking the wrong guy to attack. He gets bonus damage against you. Although it is feeding him. So there's something at least. They're all going for him as if they think they have a chance. And here I thought you had your sword equipped and that's why you weren't doing anything. You were just letting your son flounder in the sand. Leave him alone! Jesus Christ! Double Jesus Christ, he's gonna fucking die! Please, for the love of God, miss. Motherfucker. I better not need him to get the thing. That's some bullshit game. Genuine fuck off time. Ah, it didn't kill him that time. Well, we'll just feed now, even. But we better not need the guy to get it. Lorn it. Lore it. Because yeah, that's just like genuine bullshit, my man. You were just constantly going after him and nobody else. Like a bunch of assholes. It's like they planned it though, it's just like, we're gonna put this motherfucking asshole on the sand desert thing, so you wanna use him for movement, and then we're gonna have a bunch of people just go and attack him. And it's stuff like that that makes me play in this mode. When the game is like, we're gonna do asshole design. That makes it so that we're gonna trick you into death. And I say, fuck off. How's about that instead? How's about you fuck off? Man, we'll just end. Move people closer to kill that guy. Yeah, that's just asshole design. They know what you want. And that is like, ah, we'll move faster. Because mages can move fast in the sand. And then the game is just like, actually, we're gonna target him now. Because fuck you. Which is just like, why? Ah, well, it's because strategy. Now it's because you want to be an asshole. That's why you did it, because you're an asshole. Yeah. Not many make it out this far. You must be near exhausted from the sands. Yeah, then, take this as a reward for your efforts. Yes, my mom used to sing cradle songs about such a thing. Find the last tree north of the oasis shore, then two steps north and one step more. Find the last... Is it the sparkles? Find the last tree north of the oasis shore, shore, then two steps north and one step more. Uh, and something like that. It's not like the place really exists anyway. God damn it. I just want to find the goddamn thing. He 
is it really so much to ask to find the goddamn thing already? Just for all I know, it really could just, but it's like, hmm. Just trying to think. Last tree north. Take some steps and then one more. So it's just like walk into any of them. Well, blast you from the sky. wonder though like what do they mean like which trees why would it have to be a riddle that I can't really reference again this is silly like who knows maybe it's not even a thing and it's just there to fuck with you that's what it feels like That's what it feels like, man. I'm just trying to think. Do I even bother with it? I'm just wondering, though. I'm just wondering where it is. Just wondering, 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 wondering. Because, like, they wouldn't have sent you on that big old frickin' the frick run around unless it, like, meant something. So it, like, has to be somewhere. I'm just wondering. Okay. I looked up a guide just because that's that's First off, I already placed a person there. Second off, it didn't really sound like because they're like, "Oh, go the furthest of the woods, three and then more." Like that just didn't it didn't feel like a good thing. It just feels weird. What the fuck? This just... Yeah, this just feels weird. This is a weird one. What the fuck? They just have these myriad of hidden villages that disappear. And like, oh, we're not the Mirage Village, even though we fucking disappear. Just dis going all over the fucking place. And then there's hidden goddamn treasure? That can that you can stumble upon, but not activate unless you go to the final one. I think that's a little bit silly. I think that's stupid. Yeah. Well, well, this village does not often play host to outsiders. Few hold faith in that which cannot be seen to exist, yet I send such faith in you. Here yeah, then, claim what you ha have come here for. I hold my faith that you will use it with wisdom. The goddess staff. And what the fuck are you? It is a single use, fully restores the HP of all allies in range. And it's a two range, which is pretty decent, but still. I think you can fuck off slightly. That's just a little bit of a mean design to the level. Especially because you can't, like, re- Like, first off, the riddle is bad for finding it. Well, I guess it's like one, two, three, and then one more from, like... But then it could have also applied to this one. Because it's just, like, I guess the furthest tree that's up north. But again, 
there's two here. If it was just one, and I remember it's like, oh, go three steps and then one more. Maybe, but bleg. Dumb, I say. That is a dumb riddle. And again, they kind of... If it was just that, I wouldn't be that upset, but it's just like... First, the the Paralog child only exists in that village, not on the map. He is not referenced anywhere, so you can't make an inference as to who his mother is. He only joins you if the mother is in the army, of which you might not have her in the army. It's just a very wonky design, I say. First, it's very obtuse to get him. And then it's obtuse to find the treasure in the paralogue. And it's not like you can replay the paralogues. This is very mean, man. Very mean indeed, I say. Just kind of silly, kind of wonky. And the fact that there's like two, two hidden diddly Ds in the same thing. I'm sure you might be able to say, it's like, oh, wow, it's not like completely a hidden diddly D because it's like uh, diddly diddly D. It just annoys me is what it does. And that's all I'll really say, is that it annoys me, it does. Oh yeah, you're technically not a mage. He's a tactician. Uses magic, wears robe, oh, but... Not a mage! I find that very silly. Attack that guy, so he can't hit back. But yeah, it's not like as bad designed as I think, uh, what's her face, Sumia's daughter was. But I still think it's kind of stupid. play a role in this. But it's kind of funny that he's just like right next to the boss. Let's see. Now I just need to decide who gets to kill this guy. Let's see. How good do you have a chance? Very likely a unit will die and I can't... I don't think I have... Well, he has an elixir. It's not really... Hmm. What about you? You have a good chance. What about Naoi? Naoi also has a good chance to kill him. Who deserves it? Dang it, can't get there. Go in and smite this man with a bronze sword. Where's that magic mirage village at? Talk or I'll take, make you vanish too. <laughs> Time for you to die. Goodbye. Quiet! I see a village surrounded in lines. Sucks to be you.
battle is won, and the sun is fading. We'd best make tracks. Right. Just what was that place in the end? Something beyond our kin, I suppose. Maybe a small proof that faith, even in the intangible, can still be rewarded? Like faith in a better future, perhaps. <laughs> That's treasure enough for me. Say, Might I have a word? What? I don't see why not. <clears throat> Tell me honestly, how would you assess my performance? Right. You have certain natural deficiencies. Yeah, I think it's deficiencies. But you compensate for them well. I surmise this is the product of considerable time and effort. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> the best response yet. You're as per... I don't know how to say this. Perspicacious as you are blunt, Mother. Mm -hmm. Mother. Indeed. Indeed. I am your future progeny. Now then. Do you have concrete evidence to substantiate this proposition? Hmm. I have a ring which is the same as yours. Quite literally. Yes. Fascinating. It does appear identical. Simply Do two instances of a unique object coexisting constitute sufficient proof? Indeed. To be sure, time travel is one viable hypothesis to explain the rings. But the possibility also exists that you all pilfered the ring from said time traveler. As a means of identification, I fear it inconclusive. <clears throat> An astute criticism. I'm uncertain that any truly conclusive case can be mounted to prove my claim. But I intend to spend the rest of my life investigating the matter if necessary. A single-minded pursuit of the truth may be the best proof of my heredity. Hmm. This is a reasonable assumption, but I'm afraid a unilateral investigation is hardly credible. Hmm? Then how should... Right. However, I have no material evidence to suggest you are not, as you claim, my son. I shall conduct an inquiry of my own. We'll investigate the matter until a clear conclusion emerges, together. Until then, I will grant the fundamental assumption that you are, in fact, my child. My thanks. Thank you, Mother. <laughs> That's kind of sweet. Kind of a logic puzzle against each other. That amuses me. Ah, Lucina and Yarn. Let's see how they go. Pulse, check. Arms, check. Legs, check. Whew, looks like I'm all here. Uh, why do I keep fighting if I'm going to be such a coward about it? What? Yarn, is something wrong? You look upset. Mm -hmm. Oh, hey, no, I'm fine. I was just, uh... Reflecting on the horrors of war. Right. I often do the same, thinking how everyone is suffering each day, we let it continue. Farmers are slain in their fields, merchants are robbed, children become orphans. <laughs> Actually, I'm at the part where everybody's trying to kill me. My life's no worth no more than the next guy, as I know that, but... It's still a lot of pressure being the last of an entire race. But don't you see? I can only imagine. <laughs> don't get me wrong, I'm scared. But I still want to help. I'll keep fighting. I just really don't want to, is all. <laughs> Pretty sad, I know. All right. So be it. Hmm? Uh, so be what exactly? It's all right. I'll cover your back. From now on, you need only worry about foes in front of you. Uh, what? What? I'll keep you safe. <laughs> Decent voice lines placed in these voice boxes. I swear to keep you safe. That way, perhaps you can fight without fear. Hey, thanks. Lucina, everyone else is out there fighting on their own. I feel terrible asking, but that'd be such a great relief. Thank you. No, wait. I'm happy to do all I can to use an ally's mind. Thank you for opening up to me. I'm honored by your trust. <laughs> Not at all. Um, I should be going. I'll see you, Yarn. <laughs> oh, what am I go doing? God, so why not just ask her to babysit you, you big coward? This is a new low, even for me. <laughs> Poor guy. Suffering all over the place. Let's see. Muriel and Lorette. Laurent. Ah, I see. How very fascinating. This era is so fortunate to have its text still intact. It is a scholar's dream. I shall need to read more still if I hope to catch up with Mother. Mm. Mother, me. what is that bottle you carry? Is that liquor? Yes. Indeed, Breath of Dragons. A Feroxy spirit. Extremely potent. I see. But it's not even midday. I would not have taken you for a heavy drinker. No. This sample is not procured to imbibe. It was intended for this. <gasps> Fire! Yes, just as I'd heard. Potations of sufficient strength and purity burn quickly. But why the blue flame? Fascinating. This demands further inquiry. Intriguing. You never cease to amaze, Mother. You're breaking new ground, uncovering new truths about the world. I'll never catch up by merely reading about the discoveries of others. Please allow me to join you in your observations. Very well. Certainly. Between us, we will lay the mechanisms of this phenomena bare. I like it. I like that.
Now, how does he deal with Rickon? Excuse me. This is yours, I presume, Father. I found it lying on the ground. Do, do try to better secure your belongings in the future. Thanks. Ah, you sound just like your mother, Lawrence. Simple Naturally, things. she is my mother. Hmm. Well, yes, but still. You two are so alike, I sometimes wonder if you inherited anything from me. Hmm? Don't be absurd, Father. Of course I did. <sighs> oh, like what? Indeed. Like the color of my hair. Hey. Oh, well, that's true, but it's not exactly what I was talking about. Anything more substantive? Maybe your hat blows off all, off like a lot like mine. No, my bearing in that respect is profoundly normal. Very much to my relief, if I might be perfectly frank. <laughs> See, that's what I mean. You're always so serious and wordy. You could stand to loosen up a bit, maybe act a bit more your age. A logical result. <laughs> We're at war, Father. Acting like a child is hardly behavior to be encouraged. Besides, I'm a grown man. Older than Lucina at this point, I suspect. No. Wait, how could you be older than Lucina? She's already been born here, but your mother and I still haven't had you. <sighs> I I fear I have no more time to chat today. Now, if you'll excuse me. Oh, come on. He inherited his age complex. <laughs> Lawrence, wait. What was that all about? <laughs> he inherited his father's age complex. <laughs> that is, that is hilarious. And now we just have two other paralogues to do. Two paralogues to go. But we've been going for a long time now, longer than I intended, so we shall wait and do these two next time. This is a lot of fun, though. Like, a lot of it... A lot of surprises, I might say. Like... Some of them were like, oh yeah, sure. Kind of knew that, like, uh, like or kind of were expecting, like, I like yarn. But I was kind of expecting, like, you know, a tog wall eventually. But then, like, Morgan did not expect... In fact, speaking of Morgan, we need to do that before I forget again like a fuck. All right, uh, Morgan, 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 Morgan. Morgany Morgan. We are going to master seal you and make you a grandmaster so your dream can come true. From tactician to grandmaster before I forget. God. Class charge. Do I do I look like my mother in this? There you go, boy. Save again. But yeah, let's quickly look over everybody. Like, uh, oh yeah, we got uh, what's his name? Jerome. He's kind of a dick, but it is an interesting like perspective, like. He doesn't want to get close to his parents because he doesn't want to lose them again. I still need to, like, use Brady more, and I need to use all of them so I, they can, like, get close to their parents. Gag. Because I want to see, like, all of their togetherness. Like, maybe I'll do some, like, low-level levels to, like, just bond them by kill- <laughs> so they can kill low-level Risen, but bond together, maybe. Kind of grinding. But, yeah. Jerome is an interesting character. Yarn is just an adorable little man. Laurent, I do like that he's kind of like a more eased Muriel to a degree. Even if I am kind of annoyed by his level. But yeah, this is just like a lot of fun. I really like this game. I like the characters, even though I've been stuck hours just recruiting the future children. I feel like that should have been integrated more into the story, if at all possible, but at the same time, maybe this is just the best way to do it, because again, these are a lot of, like, a lot of paralogs. A lot of paralogs. In fact, let's just go and see if we can count the children. We have, uh, you technically don't count. One, two, three, four... Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, ten so far. Ten missions dedicated purely to recruiting characters. And there's two more. Jesus. But I really do like the characters. I like the designs. I like the interactions they have. Even if, like... 
Sever, or whatever her name is, is kind of mean to her family, which is very mean of you. But yeah, still, I really like it. I just can't wait to finish these two paralogues next time so we can actually get back on with the story. <laughs> I'm also kind of disappointed that it seems like the future children can only build supports between each other and their parents. But I guess building so many supports beyond that, like, I can already presume that, more than likely, I presume that making the paralogues, or not paralogues, the support conversations unique to both parents per child was probably extensive, which basically means, I assume, that every single, like, male character that can get support S rank with any, like, of the, any female characters means that they're, like, they had to make unique support dialogues for each man for... <laughs> for every single child, which is just insane. And then, who knows? Like, presumably, if Morgan is any... Like, Morgan and Lucina are any thing, because it seems like Morgan is like... Like, I don't know. Nobody else has had a double child. So in my... So it seems like Lucina is a, the guaranteed child of Krom, and then Morgan is the guaranteed child... Uh, a child of the avatar of Robin. So it, I wonder if you played male Robin and romanced Pan, would you then get Morgan, who's a Togwall? After I might just have to experiment with that the next time I play this game. But yes, I'm loving this game, loving the tactics. I do think that that last paralogue was meanly designed. Primarily in the fact that, like, ah, you're going to want to use Laurent to investigate because, ah, you want to use the future child on their personal quest for the paralogue that they're spawned in. Which I wouldn't mind it as much if not for the fact that, like, it was already kind of a pain to acquire Laurent. <laughs> if only they had adhered to the kind of thing where they had the, the like, if they had Muriel appear, being like, it is most, like, Im irrational to believe in a disappearing village. But at the same time, I am intrigued to see if I could be fooled myself, my logical mind. Like, throw her in so you know, ah, from my previous experience of Paralogs, she's going to be the mother of the recruited. That way you can at least, like, put her in your army and like it's still kind of mean that he's only in a village and comes out only if Muriel recruits him presumably but oh well hibbledy jibbledy but yes this game is still a lot of fun I love the characters love the interactions and I cannot wait to play more Thank you very much for watching, everybody. If you enjoyed what you saw, I have two YouTube channels, an edited content YouTube channel, Neon Icy Wings, where scripted and edited videos are placed, like essays, reviews, and other such things. And then I have the gaming and live stream channel, Neon Icy Games, where, like I said, live stream too, where you can watch me play these games live, or catch up on the games I've played in the past, like the Ace Attorney trilogy so far. I still need to return to that. Some, the Mass Effect trilogy, Kirby and the Forgotten Land, just lots of games. Undertale. You can catch all the previous Let's Plays and streams there. And then, if you want to, if you prefer to watch me play games live from Twitch, I also have a Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash neonicywings. If you enjoy my little character in the corner and the art that I make, you can see me post it to various sites across the internet, like Twitter, DeviantArt, Newgrounds, Inkblot, Pillowfort, so many sites now. And all of those links and more can be found in my link tree, linktr.ee slash neonicywings. Other such links found in there will be 
like uh, my writing resources. So if you want to see the things that I write and read them, you can, because writing is fun and comes easier than most other things. And then, if you are so very kind, you could throw a few dollary dues my way through Patreon to help me survive the cruel, evil darkness of the world. But yes, thank you very much for watching, everybody, and I hope to see you dudes next time. Bye-bye. Thank you.